Alright, good morning everyone, and welcome back to another Salty Saturday. Today, Minecraft. Ooh, that was high-pitched. Minecraft. So yeah, today we will be playing Minecraft uh, on the mod pack, all the mods 3. Um, as you can see, I've already got a bit of a setup here. Um, this is a private server that I set up for the TFBA community. So we got we only got around 10 people potentially on here. Uh, it's early morning, so probably only going to be me. So, so yeah. Let, we're going to see what we can get done today. Now, I have not been doing any progressive mods currently. I have been mainly just doing mechanism. Um, partially because, ooh. Um, I really like the mechanism mod. <clears throat> I, see, I love the stuff it has in it. I think it's really fun to play. Uh, that being said, if you have not played this mod pack, some, keep in mind that there are some recipe changes. Uh, and so what's some that's noted for me is is the mechanism jetpack. Let me look that up here. Jetpack. So right here you can see this is not a standard jetpack recipe. Now, okay, steel rod, steel tin plates, ultimate gas tank. You know, advanced control circuit. That's not bad. This is what's annoying. Right here. Upgrade key, jump boost. Now, I don't exactly know what this is. I don't know what this does. All I know is it requires this crap here. So, lapis, easy. Gold boots, easy. Slime block, easy. Draconia more. Now this is what sucks here. Because you can see here this will create a diamond, some gold, and some more draconia more. Now, truth be told, it is only well, I say that. It's six per. So it's twelve total. That's not a lot of draconia more. Let's be honest. It really is. You only need some draconium dust. And draconium dust, uh that will they have the ore here? Just ways to process it. Um, I believe you get a couple per ore. The problem is here, they have draconium ore, and it's spawn. The highest spawn rate is 0.01 percent. It's not a lot, and that's right at the bottom of the world. So really, trying to farm this is not very feasible in the overworld. Now, I mean, look, even in mining world, it's only well, it jumps to 0.03. So, conium ore. Now, in the nether, we got a little more chance. It's still very low, but it's in several other places at very low. <clears throat> Meaning that there's a little bit more chance to get it there. <clears throat> now, in the end, we got no five chance all around here. So it's a lot more common. Plus in the end, there's practically nothing. So, a lot easier. Why would you ever want to do that? That seems weird. Okay, anyway. So that's the deal with that. That's why, if, so if you see me not using a jetpack, that is why. Now you may also see that this doesn't look connected. Which it's not. I've been reorganizing. I've been been wanting to kind of set up a little, I'm setting up some 7x7 seven seven squares here basically to mark out my uh, ore processing. Uh, anyone who knows mechanism knows you can get up to five times ore processing, which is insanity, honestly. It's, it is absolute insanity to be able to reach that point. Um, but three times ore processing, which is better than most mods you will find is actually pretty simple so we got our just our smelter here last part of the process richmond chamber here this doubles ore and right here right here's purification chamber is what triples it you just got to feed this oxygen which you can get from the electrolytic separator which i seem to be a bit full on is this not oh i should be dumping excess there we go so I'm just turning water 
into hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen goes into here, shoots the ore with oxygen. Actually, it's sort of throw some copper in there. And this will create three clumps per ore. And there they are. So, yeah. so now I gotta set up some pipe work to get it over to the crusher. And the crusher will well crush them down into um, into dirty dust. The dirty dust needs to go into the enrichment chamber to be turned into clean dust. And then they can be smelted. That's the process. So, we need some pipes. So, I can't remember what they're called at the moment. So, let's go to mechanism and find where the pipes are. Here we go. I think uh, mechanical pipes, fluids. Fluids, fluids. Ah, logistical transporter. And so that requires. Ooh. Requires control circuit into steel. So that's the other thing they did in this mod is mechanisms. Mechanism steel is not as easy. Now mechanism, you can just <clears throat> throw some coal in here, piece of iron, bink enriched, uh, enriched iron, put it in again, bink steel blend, cook it up, you got steel. Now you can still do the steel blend part. You can't just cook it in a furnace. Um, I think that's to balance out with the other mods, where steel is a bit of a hassle. So, what I built is so what I have here is the smeltery, because the smeltery can cook the steel dust. And you can see I got oh I got oh, hold up I got to empty out my inventory I got a big old oh I destroyed my chest that's why I don't, my organization is horrible right now I apologize if anyone is a but OCD has, like, really loves organization. Um, I do not have that right now. My organization is absolute crap. Now, I will be fixing that at some point. <laughs> Until then, I apologize. Alright, so. Got a few things on my inventory. Uh, let's, let's just clear it out more. Um, bars in there. Sand in there. Uh, what else do I got? S random bits of stone. Throw it. That's sand. Sand goes in the sand chest. Okay, so, smeltery. You can throw the steel blend into the smeltery and make steel ingot. Because that makes sense of trying to nerf a mod. Anyway, that's my workaround. That's what I do. I also need to expand my smeltery. Because, uh, currently, it only has one layer. <clears throat> I built this up because I'm using it as a wall. Now, ignore that. I am in the middle of construction. Alright, so let's build up a smelter a bit. One new layer, two new layer, three new layer. Now I'm going to continue just making this bigger. So I think I'm one block short. No, I'm, no, I'm fine. What am I talking about? There's all my windmills. So anyone who's used mechanism in the past, um, this is on 1.12 Minecraft. So now with this, I'm not sure. I think it's a mechanism thing. I don't think it's a mod pack thing. A lot of power generation has been nerfed to the ground. So to keep these, so this now I now have at least a bank of power, and these things are all filled up that I can run these machines. But there's not there's barely enough power in here. If I'm running full or processing there's barely enough power to sustain it it's pretty pretty nuts like i consider this to be a lot of power to have all those windmills the gas burning generator is actually what saved me because i also have just some uh, oop, my horrible wall of heat generators just passively getting energy i may uh start running some oil through those uh no i found some oil around although I've can I make fuel in this game? This doesn't help, does it? Because all the wood can be treated as fuel. Um. Oh, it's 
Should look at the last page. Oh, refined. I can refine fuel. What the heck is naphtha? She just looked up oil. Crude oil. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. That's what I did. A diesel and LPG in a refinery? Oh, you can reduce the oil down to naphtha and tar. Okay. Which refinery is that? Huh. So this can cook in the compression dynamo because it's not cooking the. I don't see a heat generator up here. Maybe I can't. Hmm. Maybe you enchant a tank? That's weird. <clears throat> Alright, so. Maybe we won't throw oil in there. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Pipes. Logistical transporters. So, turns out I actually do have a bit of steel here. Just have to make some more. Do, 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 do some more uh, circuit boards or control circuits as they are. Um, this is actually quite easy. Let's get eight osmium. Let's grab a single bit of redstone. Now, here's the trick with mechanism that I've seen. Uh, well, I said I watched too many people play Minecraft YouTube. The group I have watched. That it's done mechanism. They never realized this. If you throw a piece of redstone in the enrichment chamber, you can do this with coal. You can also do this with diamond. It turns into compressed redstone. Now, normally when you just throw a piece of redstone into the metallurgic infuser, it gives you 10 units right here. If you throw it in the enrichment chamber to compress it, 80. And that's intentional. That's not a bug. That is how that's designed. If you run them through the through the uh, what is that? If you run them through the enrichment chamber first to compress them, it is meant to give you more. So it's always worth doing. You'd lose nothing except a bit of power. And ideally you have tons of power in your base. Ideally you also don't have just a mess everywhere, but, you know, one thing at a time. All right. Basic logistical transporta. Now, it's been a while since I used these, so let's make, so we'll see if I get them right. So we got two. So I think we'll hook this up here. And now, where's the front of this factory? I think it's here. And so we want the... I did connect though. Alright, so this one needs to be output. And we set this to eject on, but it has nothing to go to. Because where's the front of this? Okay, so those are crusher factories factory so this that is definitely the front so for here this needs to be the input okay now I have to um, rotate empty configure it configure it configure it configure it to push pull Does that work huh
Oh. Oh! I can look at the sides. I forgot I could do that. Okay, so that is output. This is green. There we go. Man, I don't even have to look at... Alright, so this here is a... Alright, so here's my crushing factory. Now, the advantage of this is if you do this, you can do three at a time. Pretty awesome. Alright, so now, we gotta, we gotta bring all that over to the enrichment chamber. And yes, this seems like a long distance, I know. The idea with this setup is that I can set up the deal with the setup is I can set up. Um, the ideal, the idea with this setup is I can add more machinery here as required. Um, now I'm not sure if that's going to work out. Maybe I will reduce this at some point, but for now I'm going to stick with this idea and just kind of roll with it. So we're going to. Do you want to output out the top? Or do you want to output from this side? Actually, do we want this cable to move? Um, let's 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 do it from the top. Do it. In, let's input it here. Excellent. So now let's take our configurator, and that is set to. Input. I want to set that to output. Ah, this is already going. We we'll set that to normal. And so this must be set to input on top. It is. So now here's the problem: is this only has this is not a factory, so this is gonna back up really fast. And so we'll have to we'll have to adjust that. And we're getting to that. And now. Oop, that's my that's my flamethrower. Don't mind that. All right, now we're just set this a straight pipe to here. And so let's uh, input output, and now set to input. Perfect. And then all this has to go somewhere. Now right here is my ugh. sorry. I have a dog behind me who just farted. Oh, Jesus. Okay, can I rotate this chest? Thank you. All right, we're going to put this here. And it looks like this is already set to output. Yep, yep, already set to output. So it's going to output right into this chest, whatever is cooking. Which right now is copper. Okay, so that's that's how you that's how you do this. So now the only question is, how do we get everything into here? Because I'm not going to get to four times ore processing for a while yet. Um, that's pretty advanced. So I need to get, I need to have an easy way to put items into here. Now the easiest method would probably um, be to add another pipe and over to a spot that's a lot more convenient. Now, my mine is down there, which I might move, but for now it's there. Um, but basically, I don't want to walk over all this machinery, everything else, just to put some ore into here. So we need to find a nice spot that I can add in some... That I can throw in some uh, wiring, or some, or a chest wiring whatever did that come from so honestly i kind of i kind of like the idea next to the door those door has to be changed because there's a wall here um let's see what we can do i'm a little low on p pipes already but i got more control circuits so i can make a lot more all right let's just start dragging a pipe um should we go off the back of the machine let's go off the back of the machine let's change this to uh and input so we'll put it here 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 we're gonna run it right along the ceiling so 
let's run it this way. This really is an awkward cable, isn't it? I really should move that. I already moved over here. This is my power station. <laughs> In case no one realized that before, this is where. So I got an energy cube here, which, again, I'm a bit filled up on power because I'm not logged in 24 7. So. It, it, I'm not always running stuff, so it does have a little base of power in there. Probably could upgrade that too at some point, which I will, but not right now. Um, so look at look at this. Look at this. Look at the items flow. All right, so I'm probably gonna clear out a lot of that. Probably gonna clear all that. Why don't I make like a chest like right here, like right in the corner of the finished goods area? Yeah, this will be like finished goods. Um, let, oh, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Hold on. Let's um, let's get some chests. I wonder, is there different kinds of chests where I don't have to? Um, sh shulker box. Why does that come up when I type in chest? Weird. Okay. Um, do 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 do. Ah. Iron chest upgrade, iron chest, gold chest, diamond chest, copper chest, silver chest. Now, silver chest. Alright, so iron to gold, gold to diamond, copper to silver, silver to gold. Okay, so silver is worse than gold. Copper to iron, so copper is worth it, worse than iron. Wood to iron, wood to copper. Diamond to obsidian. Personal chest. I could make a personal chest too. Uh. Ugh, steel. Okay, let's not. Um, we could probably just make a let's make a simple couple of iron chests here. I think that'll be personal chest, iron chest, personal chest, iron chest, personal chest, iron chest. <laughs> oh, the decisions. Do I even have that on me? I guess I do. I guess I just made a bunch. Let's all right. Let's let's get some chests made, and we'll get a personal chest. Um, am I out of wood already? How did I use up all my wood? It's not like I burnt down my ceiling or something. I totally did. Um. <clears throat> all right. Well, let's get some wood. It's dark out though. Problem with acacia trees is that uh, they don't exactly all stack on top of each other, so you can't just insta knock them down, no problem. GG, let's go. But it, they were what's around, and I like the color. All right, let's get all that. Tree, tree, tree. Supposed to disappear faster, tree. Well, this tree didn't get the memo. Alright. Let's get back in here. I always forget I have these extra doors. Alright. Sawdust, I'll throw that somewhere. Alright, I'll throw that right in here. Okay, let's get some personal chests. Uh, a bunch of steel, glass, and two chests apiece. Okay, so... 
that's sawn up some wood. Um, do I have glass? There's glass. Alright, there's a bit more wood. Four chests. And personal chest. One, two. Alright, so let's make a... Uh, Well, I can make that one an output. This one an input. Let's actually let's uh let's put them right next to each other, and we'll get a label on them. I wonder if I can put like a sign on the floor. Like on top of this chest now. There's a way to do that. Yeah, well. I could do. I could do this. Make an arrow. Yump. I don't think this at all. Input. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. O U T P U T space space. Put two spaces in here, right? Three spaces. One, two, three. Out. Foot. I screwed that up. Alright. Input, output. A little high, but... Screw it, we're, do we're going with it. So... Move this pipe to here, and we'll just uh, move all of our finished goods into here. I know Man of Steel is not a finished good. I know Obsidian is not a finished good, but this is a very convenient spot to put everything. Okay, and let's just get rid of this then. Let's change that to oop. That's normal. Okay. Now we got input. Now it makes sense to have this, what this beam is. This beam, um, can be what this travels along. So I'll probably remove that whole thing and add pipes all across it. So get some iron, because I make a lot of these pipes. It might be a waste of space, but you know, it may be a waste of resources, but you know what? I think it's gonna look good. So let's just uh figure this out. And let's pipe. There we go. Run that all the way across, right across the ceiling. Now we need a test. Now, does this do all the copper already? Oh, I guess I ran through the copper already. Alright, let's go to my uh, little ore dump chest back here. And let's do some gold. And let's do some copper. Gold. Oh, look at that. 
Look at the gold go. Oh, look at it go. And uh, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right. So we got that in there. So now I believe these are smart enough where if I put this in here. Yeah, see it doesn't even pull anything because these are smart enough pipes that it's not going to just constantly pull out. It's only going to pull out when there is space. Now to adjust this, I'm going to turn my auto sort off. Now the reason I'm doing this is because this allows the backup to not be here. It allows it to be here. Oh no. Basically, if I, by having a crushing factor here, it's only going to do one at a time, which is going to make sure this doesn't get overloaded too much. All the way down the line. And when another ore gets put in here, it can keep processing and getting through here. Now that's going to start backing up. So this is going to back up eventually. It is going to back up. But we can fix that by adding a factory here and a factory here. Which might be the next steps we take. Um, or we might uh, clean this up a little bit. Because it's a little bit of a mess. So, Because this is what I wanted. I wanted to make an ore processing area. Now that's what this is. Now I don't exactly like this long cable I made here. To power it all. But it's what we got. And we are going to live with that. Oh, there goes, there goes all my copper. So we're going to live with this cable. Now, I know I could bury him. But... Oh, thanks, man. Thanks... Another comment. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I, I I think it looks like an absolute mess right now. This is a wreck. This is one for another. I, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to look at my chat. I, I'm not used to people chatting, honestly. I'm just, no, I just stream on Saturday morning, so I'm not used to people actually being in my chat room. There, okay. So... Oh wow, I'm a little excited now. I got I got a person in my chat room. Okay, anyway, so let's uh Okay, we gotta organize our chests and we got to get this organized and everything else. Okay, so let's leave this the way it is. Okay. Oh thanks man. Thank I appreciate it. You know, I'm just I'm just some small full time streamer, so but yeah, if you like keep tuning in, that's great. Make it means a lot, actually. It's nice to see that someone actually has an interest in what I do. I'm not just talking to the void. All right. Now, I don't know why torches were in there. All right. Let's get... Oh, no, where's my mechanism chest? There it is. Okay. We'll get... these moved in here. Woo! I'm up to double digits! Yeah! Okay. Okay. So now we got to get some factories. We got to get some... Uh, Backup, we gotta get, actually, we gotta get some other uh, energized smelters up, some other uh, this and that, and oh boy. Okay, so, I think what we need, maybe I should get my steel processing set up. Yeah, let's get a steel process set up, um, because steel is a bit of a pain with this mod pack. Um, need some more sandstone. Okay, sandstone, sandstone. Okay. <clears throat> Turn it slow. Uh, it's touching the ground. Start. People will come when they sit here and talk to you for a bit. You will see the growth. Oh, good. No, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd love to see this be be a little more. I mean, I'm not. I'm I'm not a, I'm not going to be like a full time streamer or anything anytime anytime recently. So I'm just doing this for fun and to kind of try to promote my little group of friends a bit. So yeah, I mean, so yeah, thanks for thank you for contributing to the community.
by just, you know, having a look. And having a chat. It's nice to have someone to chat to. <laughs> Alright. Let's just fill this all in with sandstone. And a lot of sand any more sandstone. There we go. Okay, so now we gotta get our steel process up. So we're going to <clears throat> Man, what is the best way to do this? So we're gonna need Lava to get, we need a source of lava to get into here, which isn't too hard. I can just put a pipe in a tank there. Um, that's a good idea. Where's the pipe? <clears throat> Alright, take one of those, and we'll stick that here. Okay, so that'll be, I'll put a pipe up there. Huh. Yeah, well, oh, good job. Good job, man. I mean, Twitch, it's it's a hard environment to get anywhere nowadays because there's just so many people and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of giants out there. So I I'm I'm amazed that uh, anyone can make it anywhere on Twitch because I mean I I don't watch too much Twitch personally, honestly. But you know I'll go click through a few things and any game you look at, it is you got your big giant streamers and it kind of tapers down and then you always. And then it drops down real fast to all the little one and two viewer streamers. And I just wonder, like, how do these... And I, I've turned them on occasionally, but it's like, it's it's a hard environment. Just, you got so many people there, and just about anyone can turn on a stream and go. I forgot what I was doing. What was I doing? I was looking for my... Oh, I was looking for my the water tank. Yeah. Okay. How do I drain this? Can I just drain this somehow because I accidentally filled up tons of water <clears throat> um break away a little bit oh nice nice good job man I mean that's like that, that's basically giants to me I mean <laughs> thousand having a thousand followers that's insanity oh oh oh, oh, oh I just flooded my minds okay okay there we go I'm not sure if that's the best way to empty these tanks, but that's what I did. Okay, so let's uh, put that back to wrench. Let's fill this with lava. <clears throat> uh, oh, it destroyed all my torches! Oh. oh, man. Okay, go back down the dark tunnel where all my torches got destroyed. Come on, water. Move along. Move along, water. Come on. Keep going. Yeah, you, you just contaminate the oil a bit. Be, oh, no, you're going down further. Oh, jeez. Why, water, why? Why must you do this? Uh, da, da, da. Okay, it didn't... Okay, it didn't destroy the lava, at least. Okay. Okay, so let's start start lava collection. In there. What? Lava in the... Oh, ooh. Don't hold shift while putting lava into a tank. You get that one? And there's more over there. Alright, let's get a... This lava here. Actually, why do I still have this tank over here? When I can... Duh. Okay. Bringing the tank over to here. Actually, I dug a hole around this already. There we go. Lava. 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 Lava? Lava. 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 And that should be it for that section. Excellent. All right. Let's see what else we can find. So, okay, so let's let's see. Now this is an this is an old lava pool here. So let's see how much we got. Um, looks like there's actually quite a bit. Oh sure, sure. Oh, we got we got oh, we got tons of lava. Uh, yeah, we can definitely fit more in here. 
lava lava and lava all right full tank of lava and throw throw that with the uh oh the lava this is only a basic tank because i am poor scrub who have no materials and can't find diamonds all right i'll stick that here and then we'll configure this that would be yeah it would be that's why i love minecraft logic it's like here here take this fill your iron bucket with with molten magma and uh yeah no problem you'll be fine Get hole and now can i Oh, is this the house works? Oh no, there we go. All right, all right. So there we go. We got a supply of lava going into the smeltery. Step one done. Step two. Uh, we need some more metallurgic infusers. Uh, metaller. All right. Uh, two furnaces, iron, redstone. Okay, so I need, some, need my cobble, my cobble stone. I need to own the. What did I say? I need iron and osmium. All right. All right. So let's just uh, one. Let's just throw it all in here. And then one, two, three, four of those. This I, I can't remember that these things are here. And then I should be able to... Oh, did I not grab redstone? Uh, I'll grab some redstone here. And then... Bam! Two metallurgic infusers. Uh oh, server backup. Okay, so... <clears throat> I don't know if people know what they're doing. Hey, I've actually spent time looking up how to do this. Now, with... There's a lot of stuff in mechanism I don't know. Now, because they've added some new stuff that I am clueless about, and I, I've looked up a... I know there's a wiki out there that i got to look up yet, but, I mean, there's, uh... These things, these induction ports. Because what it says you can build, like, some kind of a matrix with it, when I'm, which... I have no idea what that is, but it sounds amazing. And there's also... Uh, there's, I don't know where the blocks are in here, but I know there's a way to build turbines now in here, too, so probably going to get some turbines up eventually to get some real power going <clears throat> so so here let's get rid of this hopper because that is noob system we want we want pro system uh and gas it there it's okay so we're gonna have logistical pipe going here <clears throat> and then we don't need to worry about this because we See that, so we need a chest. Let's put a basic chest here for now, as uh, as my buffer. So that'll just be so that's just my that's just my buffer zone. So that if I want to throw in uh, some cobblestone or something else to throw in there, I can do that. Uh, I guess I can't remember. Can I just? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's put it into the pull. So it'll pull items in. And then we'll put... It's going to make this a little inconvenient. Oh, thanks, man. That's amazing. That's so nice. Oh, I don't think I deserve that much, but thank you. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to throw... Metallurgic Infuser. Should we get him closer to the wall? Let's get him closer to the wall. Let's move him over here. And then we'll throw one here. Buddy, buddy. Yeah. Uh, no, let's spread them out. Let's spread them out. Oop. Let's not set the wrench. There we go. All right, no, let's, let's keep them spread out. Let's get the logistical transporters in here. Right there. And... I suppose I could just put the steel directly in here. But... Um, let's, let's have some fun. We'll, we'll, we'll repurpose this chest here. 
as my as okay. Steel input only. All right. Oh, sorry. Um, iron only, steel processing, oops, why is not how you spell processing, processing, uh, iron only, let's just put a line there, steel, Processing input. Okay. Iron's in there. So now uh, we need to. Oh, man. I'm making, this... <clears throat> I'm making this fancier than I thought it was going to. Alright. Let's configure items. So this side we want to be input. This side we want to be output. This side we want to be input, and this side we want to be output. Okay, and then, yeah, so then on the top we want to make this to be infuse, so purple, the extra slot. <clears throat> because this is where we are going to throw in all of our coal. <clears throat> but not just any coal, we need compressed coal. And compressed coal, we need enrichment chamber. Enrichment. Alright, so I make steel casing. So did I, please tell me I did not burn up all my steel. Ain't that ironic. I I think I burnt up all my steel. Oh no, no, I have some steel here. I have some steel. Woo! I did not burn up all my steel before making my steel processing plant. That's good. Okay, now I need glass. Do I not, did I not make any, do I not, I don't, ah. Uh, all this sand, but no glass. And this is, um, how much more copper do I got going on? I got a lot of copper going on. Okay, we're doing some mundane smelting. It's, uh. Hey, another viewer. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Your uh, good buddy here has been uh, promoting me pretty well here. It's it's very nice of him. <laughs> uh, oh, split up. Uh, put this part here. And put this in here. And we'll put this in here. All right. And I am doing great today, actually. Like, it's... Early morning here, but I always wake up early, and I have two people in my chat. I mean, that's amazing. That's that's like highlight of my day already. I was I don't I'm I usually just talk to myself for a few hours before logging off. So I mean, two people in the chat right now. I mean, this is like best day ever. All right, let's grab some glass and let's make a steel casing. Only one. And then I need... Oh, do I have circuits? I don't have circuits. Do I have, do I have any circuits? I have no circuits. How did I use up all my circuits? Is there more in here? No. Okay. Used up all my circuits. Okay. Let, uh, one of those. And we're... I'm going to borrow my... Borrow my smelter. Here we go. Fun trick. Three people in chat. Yay! Uh, yeah, if you guys didn't notice that, there's a little trick you can do with this. I'll... So here's, here's a fun thing. So see how this is almost done smelting up this? Almost there, almost there, almost there. Place with the redstone? It keeps the progress. So I can just get an instant compressed redstone without restarting it. Fun bonus. Slightly cheating, but, you know. Okay, right. Six, 16... 
throw those in there. Okay, those will be making my circuits. So, uh, circuits are going, and that's all I need there. So in the meantime, I need to... Now, if I do this, is there a way to... None. Full. None. And that, I don't think I can... Huh. Am I doing a Q&A stream? Oh, well, have fun with your Q&A stream. I hope it goes well. Uh, okay, so... Wrench, I have a configurator. This is the, uh... This is the uh, mechanism wrench, so it does so it can it functions as a wrench and it can also use to change the sides and everything else. I just don't know if I can. Or wait, no, there's wait, 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 wait. I got to change this to uh, items. I think I can. No, there's a way to change the color on this. Mechanism current color is zero. Gonna type change to nine. Ah, what was the rotate? Hmm. All right. Well, I forgot how to do that. So let's just move that out of the way, and we'll just do this in a more. We'll jank it up a bit. Oh wait, no, 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 no. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? I don't have to jank this up at all. I have to bring power in. I have no power over here. Crap! I forgot about power! Ah! Everything's falling apart. It's not. It's just incomplete. Okay, let's... Okay. Did I make... Yes, okay, I made the right thing. So, enrichment chamber here. And so then we want to... Configurate items. So we want this side to be... Output. And we want this side to be output. And bottom should be none. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Uh, energy. I don't want that. Well, energy from the. T uh, oh man, I did not plan this part very well. Okay, so we gotta run. Oh, oh. I think we're gonna have to do some floor cabling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll probably have to do some floor cable. <laughs> Uh, to get that in there, because I just loaded up every other side of this, and unless I want to just power it from the front and make this thing look super, super janky, I'm alright with that. I'm alright with some super jank. Let's let's do that. Let's make this thing super messed up looking. Why not? All right, so we're, so we need some power like that, and uh, so we need nearest power hookups over here. Do I, should I go through the pipe or or around the pipe? Do I go around the pipe or under the pipe or up, under, through, sideways? I don't know. Uh, let's just uh, right, as long as it works. Uh, other games I play like uh, depend. I I bounce around through a lot of games <laughs> other than Minecraft. Uh, honestly, it's like I, I run all, all over the place. This, I got a Minecraft bug, and so that's why I, um, talk to my, my group of friends and asked, hey, do we want to, are people up for, a, for having a server again? Because I used to be the server guy. Like, I was the, that's the wrong pipe. No, that's, a, no, that's right. That's Universal Cable. I used to be a server guy. I used to, um, run servers on an old computer of mine, uh, because I used to. What I used to have is a... You know what? Let's not... Better idea. Better idea. Uh, go back to being a wrench. Okay, let's go here. And let's dig that out. Yes. Okay, that's... Okay, let's... Ignore that wall. Alright. Uh, you have Discord in your group? Yeah, I have a Discord group. Uh, we're just a... I mean, it's not... It's more not much of a group. It's more of just friends. So it's not really a full community yet. I know a lot of guys would love to uh, make it more of a community. Ooh, here we go. Ah, ah! I'm falling, over, falling down. I'm looking at chat. I'm, this is not. I'm not used to this. <laughs> so yeah, our little group is called the uh, the Failboat Armada. 
And that's been our kind of tagline for a while. We've tried kind of get communities up before, but I mean, we don't stick to a single game a lot of times. We all of us tend to jump around and you know, we all of us were big into World of Warcraft once. We kind of fell off of that, moved to League of Legends, then we were playing some Guild Wars 2, played some Warframe, jumped, you know, got out of that, played some Heroes of the Storm. A lot of them jumped back into WoW. I've we jump into Minecraft occasion from time to time. I mean, we're all over the place with what we do. And right now, the current uh, fad is Minecraft again, after setting up this server and looking up this mod pack. Because uh, this mod pack is really nice. It's really good. It's on 112. So we got all sorts of fun in here. Okay. So now, I have... <laughs> Whew! Okay. I almost have my steel processing up and running. <laughs> oh my god, this is... Okay, so I got that jank up there. Does this mod pack have refined storage? That's a good question. Let's take a look. Refined... Refined storage. Yeah, it seems to. How does that for that is for free? Um, I have spare computers. I have just computers galore just from... Uh, back living at home, when I lived at home, you know, old computer, moved out, moved out to college, came back, realized that this old, old, old computer was still there. I mean, I ran a, I used to run, uh, like what, back in college, so this is probably, uh, oh man, seven years ago, uh, found this old, our old computer. Now this old computer was a Dell with Windows XP on it. It had a Pentium 4 processor. <laughs> Pentium 4 processor. Single core with hyperthreading. <laughs> that is what it was. Uh, I'm 28 years old. Yeah, so not afraid to reveal that. But yeah, so this is a Pentium 4, this was a Pentium 4 computer. I took it to college with me, threw Linux on it, and I actually... Uh, I'll serve this for free. Oh, okay. But yeah, so that, that computer ran vanilla Minecraft for a while. Um, honestly, running a server isn't too bad. Like, uh, I won't pull up anything here. But the basis of it, if you get, usually you can, in any mod pack, they will either have a server installer or some server files you can download. So if you download the server files, you'll have this big pack of crap basically and the easiest way to run a server from that is um open up a terminal or a command prompt and we will have to look at some codes of how to get into that folder because i find it i find minecraft runs really well on a terminal like that's how i used to run it i ran it on linux brought up the brought up a terminal and ran it that way for a long time so let's open up command prompt navigate to your folder and then you have to run uh, the Java file. Now you'd have to you'd have to look up the code, but uh, in most server files, there's a in most server folders, there's a batch file in there. And if you just open that up, you can change the codes in there of like how much RAM you want to allocate to your server. And so a mod pack a mod pack like this, you're gonna want a Oh, thanks for the host, man. It's, it's great. Um, so a mod pack like this, if you're you're going to want, I mean, a good chunk of RAM allocated to it. I mean, four gigs might give you a basic start. Um, I, the server I'm renting, I'm renting a server right now. Uh, and friends and I are all chipping in to pay for it. The one I got is eight gigs. And it runs this brilliantly. Um it's actually run and it runs pretty low most of the time. So, so this mod pack is pretty optimized. It runs very efficiently with itself. So this here, a four to six gigs of allocation could uh, easily run your server. Probably, it just might take a little bit to calm down once you first start it up. Because first starting a server, your 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 computer, your server, whatever you have, will cry. It will just cry. Because loading in all the mod pack, loading in all the mods, 
and then creating the new world oh it it will it will cry so hard it takes up so much memory but i made the wrong thing i need to make more pipes i just made some oh man good for me good good job me pat myself on the back i think that was the last of my steel too yep good job me i made the wrong thing that's i'm the best But yeah, sorry, I got off tangent on that. So, look, just find the mod pack you want, and there should be a way to download server files from that. And from there, you can either run the batch file directly, or open up, or you can run it through a terminal to, or a command prompt. Sorry, I keep saying terminal, that's what Linux calls them. Um, in order to run the server via the code to basically start the Java um, exe. And that'll just boot the server up. Um, and if it's on your, say you're running it on a local computer, you, you have to look up your IP address. You can just go to Google, type in my IP address. And then, uh, on your router, make sure you have your port forwarding set into place. Um, it's really not too bad, honestly. It's pretty, it's, the biggest issue with running a server is going to be things like lag and how much power it's using. And also there's, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of really good sites out there. Oh crap, I did the wrong thing. There's a lot of really good sites out there that tell you how to, I, did I, did I, no, tell you how to do it. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting off on tangents again. I, I'm sorry about that. I have. I just kind of keep babbling and I just keep going and going and going. Um, so we need to change this to input. But if you have, uh, my suggestion for running a server is you can easily look up the way, like the Java codes to start it. If you have a spare computer, for some reason you have, you know, some old laptops laying around, some, you know, an old tower that you don't use anymore. Try using that first as your server. Like run it, and if it's a computer you do not care about, if you don't, if you don't care about the computer, like you're never going to use it again. It's just gathering dust. Throw Linux on there, any kind of Linux. I'd suggest Ubuntu because it's the easiest one to deal with. But um, throw Linux on there because I found that Linux just runs servers better. Um, it tend, it really runs servers very well. So, but if you don't have that, if your computer has a ton of RAM, like, like something along the lines of, say, 32 gigs of RAM, you could run a modded server like this on your local drive and be able to invite people to it as long as you have your port forwardings right. Okay, I think we got this going on good here. Okay. Okay, I feel like I repeated myself several times. I'm sorry if I was getting repetitive. Um, yeah, just trying to help out because like I've run, I've ran a lot of servers. Okay. So now, everyone who's been watching, this should now be my steel setup. Let me put a sign here. Uh, coal only. Sign? Sign? Why do you do this to me, sign? Why why you give me no text? Okay. Coal only. So is there no way out? This is that easy. So so there is no way out of this, that is easy. Yeah. Uh, it's, Yeah, I mean, servers are servers aren't aren't too bad, honestly. It's just, the the biggest issue with servers is if you try to make your own custom ones, and maintenance. And I say maintenance as in if your computer is uh is um if you have a big mod pack and your computer maybe isn't top end, so you're kind of really running high on the CPU and RAM, you're probably gonna have to do a lot of server restarts. I had one I was resetting daily just to, just because it would end up just overloading the computer. Computer would just freeze up and practically crash. Okay, 
uh, output to get to. Have I really burned up that much iron? No, I have a bunch on me. Okay. Here's the moment of truth, guys. Iron. I didn't set this. I didn't configure this. Real moment of truth. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're pulling iron in to the metallurgic confuser. Okay, so this metallurgic confuser is processing up carbon to make enriched iron, which is which eject on. All right, so that injecting into this metallurgic confuser, which this one is enriching it with more carbon to make steel blend. Steel blend goes into the chest and gets thrown into the smeltery. And then turn this back on. We have a clock to pour out the steel when it's done with a hopper to a chest. Now this I could probably adjust as well, actually. Ooh, actually, I could probably run this all the way over to here with once I get more steel to make the pipes. Oh, let's set this. Let's let's do this. Let's set this up. This sounds wonderful. Let's run it right in the floor, like for top level of floor. Let's 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 do this. This is gonna be amazing. And uh, yeah, I'll see that. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be great. All right, gotta pretty this up. All right, let's get rid of the sand. And we'll get some sandstone in there. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? And get get some of my wood in there. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I got some sand here. Let's get rid of the sand. If you guys haven't noticed by now, I live in a desert. <laughs> that's, where, that's where my house is. Is in a desert. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, let's see. If we got, I, got, I got some slabs here. We'll we'll just turn those back into uh, sandstone. And boop, 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 boop. Okay. This is going to be great. Oh, I got six steel. Oh, all steel. Yes. Okay. And do, 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 do. All right. That's right. That's the right item, right? Yeah. Basic logistical transporters. Here we go. It's way more than I need. Okay. Run it right in the floor so everyone can see. I didn't break. I didn't break the break the, that block yet. There we go. There we go. There we go. Bam. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Bam. All right. Well, let's uh, get rid of that chest. Let's get rid of this hopper. And get tons of sands. Let's fill that in there. And it's not working. Oh, why isn't it working? Do I have to pull from the... Okay, is it connected? Ah, it's not connected. Okay, okay, I got to... Closet merge extractor. I don't know what that means. All right, hold on, let's... Uh... Eh. Yeah, okay, so this isn't connected here. So let's... um. Why not? Why no connection? Figure items? Oh. Let me try the bottom. Well, the issue, the issue actually is this isn't connected to here. I wonder if... Um... Ah! Okay, so this chest won't accept an input from the bottom. Is the issue. See, there it goes. That's what the problem was. It wasn't accepting it from the bottom. You gotta try it. You gotta, it's gotta be loaded in from the side. I didn't realize that. That's a little weird. Huh. Alright, well, okay, so let's just, uh... That's how I change the colors. Oh. Huh. Why didn't that work before? Alright, alright, alright. We got this We got, we got it working. Let's just make this a little better. Okay, so we'll put... We'll actually have the pipe like this. And we'll get rid of that. There we go. Um, actually, actually, no, I don't like it. I don't like that. We're going to, we're going to change it. We're changing it. All right. 
Sandstone here. Get some wood. Put that here. Dirt can go there. We're putting it here and here. Making a right old mess. And then we're getting rid of that and that. There we go. Sandstone there. Wood there. Bam. Now we got it. Now it's pulling straight into our output chest. And we're going to have steel four days now. Hopefully. There we go. That, is, that doesn't look that doesn't look weird at all. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Okie dokie. So it doesn't accept so it, it accepts from the it pulls from the top. It'll accept input from any of the sides, but it doesn't accept anything from the bottom. Maybe, maybe the bottom's for power only. Weird. All right, anyway, we got steel. We got a steel processing plant up and running. Now, I wonder if I could. So yeah, we're, we're just loaded on up here. Oh, that... Okay, so yeah, processed up. We got tons of carbon in here. So yeah, we are set up. Why don't you make it too long? Because that, that's boring. That's boring. Then it's like you don't get to see the pipes and everything else. I love... I mean, honestly, this may look like a mess. This is a mess. But... I like it. I like being able to see the pipes and everything else. I'm just, I find it boring of like, I have this machine here and through some hidden pipe and pipe works and everything else, it's powered and goes over to here. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Here is all of my epic works. Here is how I do it. And this, I don't know. I find it funny. I'm just like, yep, I'm going to put a pipe in the floor. It looks, it, it looks bad. So what? So what if it looks bad? Function over form. And, I mean, seriously. You think that looks bad? Look at what I got going on here. Look at this. This is bad. I have a wall going into my door. Like, that's bad. This, this is, this is, this is magic. This is bad. That's what I say. All right. And, in all seriousness, no, I probably, I probably should cover that up, though. Okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? Since... Since I have people in my chat who are saying cover it up, I'll cover it up. I'll cover it up just for you guys. Just for you guys. You've convinced me. You've convinced me. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay, the story behind that door is I had it there and it looked really nice. And then I started to expand. I expanded this this way and I needed to build a wall. And so the wall was built. And... I have not fixed. I've, I haven't fixed it since. Alright, so let's, all right, let's break this. Let's break all this stuff. Okay. So, where are my pipes? Where are my pipes at? Alright. Pipe there. Let's get that. Up. Item mode. And set to pull. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Do, 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 Oop, do, 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 oh, they're going to be able to see down there, though. Well, got to make this look pretty. Got to get my sandstone in here. I can't let people see dirt when they look down at my pipes. Okay. All right, there we are. Because we're going to see that part, because i got to load this in from the side. There we go. So now... Yep, alright, that's back in. Let's sand that up a bit, and then let's, uh, sandstone the rest up. There we go. Boom, boom, doot, 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 doot. Wood. Bam. There we go. There you go, guys. It is a clean sandstone floor. Assuming sandstone can be clean. It's funny how you try and make the ground nice, yet you make it messy. Yes, that is, uh, that, that story of my life. Story of my life. Uh... <laughs> My, my general rule of thumb is make it work, then make it look good. <laughs> and it usually stops at make it work. The make it look good tends to not, just not happen. That's, okay. <laughs> Alright. So we got steel up and running. I think what I need to do now is get factories on the enrichment chamber here and on the energized smelter because... 
This produces three clumps. This can process the three clumps, and then it all backs up right here. You should see my world's been through. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with a messy world, man. You should. See... I honestly, you should have seen me back in the Tekkit days, where I'd have two quarries running, pipes running out of those to ten different chests with other pipes loading in fuel to my combustion engines, loading in water at the same time. And then there's me running around in a panic. Oh, hey, good morning, Toby. Running around in a panic, trying to keep it all running because I have pipes backing up and water's running out. I don't want my engines to explode. It was a mess. And uh, good morning, Toby. I have people... Are you talking about ticket? Yeah, I'm talking about the Tekkit days, because I have people watching my stream, and they're Yay! chatting to me. Hello, stream people. This is Toby. He's part of the Fable Armada. He's a good friend, and he'll probably log into Minecraft. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Um, no? Actually, I was coming here to see if you wanted to play some killing. Wait, what? Killing floor? Oh, right, yeah. Okay. I forgot, Levi still has to go into work. Oh, okay. Never mind. We'll probably play when Levi gets back. But yeah, they uh, they did some pretty cool updates when my friend was in town from out of state. Me and him played some Killing Floor, and um, man, they've added some they've added some shit. Really? Yeah. Was that recently? Um, uh, I'm gonna have to update it then, unless it's. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, it must have been fairly recently. I don't know how. Recently, I was doing. Though, but, uh, yeah. So there was more guns. Um, they added Enrich. fucking doom fist thunder gauntlets to the fucking berserker. They are the oh, most no. incredibly fun shit ever. Uh, um, enriching. Like they're just giant piston sledges on each arm that electrocute and EMP pulse stuff. Oh my. Yeah, they're kind of bonkers overpowered. Um, anyways, but they also did, uh, added this thing where you can pay extra Two. money to upgrade weapons to increase their damage. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I have played with that patch. Oh, okay, okay. The yeah, thing with the up- the, super cool. Yeah, the thing with the upgrade weapons though, it does increase the weight of the weapon. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Which for me doesn't work out because I usually play explosives in that game. And my weight is filled. Like, I cannot yeah. upgrade stuff. Okay, so let's. Actually, it's pretty awesome to play okay. support spec with the med shotgun and just upgrade the shit out of the med shotgun. Because med shotgun's OP as fuck already. Yep. And then you add Bam. in the fact that it has a healing dart. And then the support spec gets bonuses to all of the damage and penetrations that the shotgun's already okay, that's good. strong with. It's, yeah, it's nuts. Support spec with a med shotgun is incredibly fun. Input. Okay. God, I don't oh. want to play fucking Killing Floor. Alright, well, maybe I'll play that. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll play that uh, after my stream here, if if Levi has to go to work yet. Okay. Because, yeah, I probably won't stream, I'll probably only stream till maybe like 8.30 or 9, depending on when oh, Elmo okay. wakes up. Well then, I guess I will fire up Minecraft and join you for a bit. Yay! Um, All right, and and by the by the way, you are not. I by the way, person in chat, uh, you can be a people if you want to. Uh, all right, one person can be a people, and I believe, and you are in my chat, so that you are a people to me. People are. People are people. Wait. People uh, are people. Yes. And why should it be? <laughs> do you have a do you have a community? We kind of do. We're try, we're kind of a start we're kind of a startup community, if anything, because we have we we're a good group of friends. For a while. We yeah. just don't have a very far reaching community, but we are trying to build it. We are so. trying. Yeah, so Yeah, we yeah, we're known as the Failboat Armada. That is our community. <laughs> yeah, so okay, so what I did here. Uh, so I did build an enriching factory here. So now this will accept three. Uh, three things at a time. So now I need to do is upgrade my energized smelter. Which should be the same recipe. I'm not even going to look it up. I'm going to just assume it's the same recipe. And just go for it. I mean, we would accept... I don't know. We'd accept, we'd accept outsiders. I think we... If, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, if you want to come check out the... Dis, I guess if... Uh, we could probably invite them to Discord, couldn't we? If you want to put a Discord? Yeah. 
link in the chat? I don't know how to do that, actually. Hold on. Let me... Uh... I'll just... I'll drop a temporary link, and we'll use it for today. Yeah, yeah. Let's drop... Yeah, we can drop... Um, if you would turn on my stream, you could uh, drop it in there. There it is. There. I mean, if you want to look at your chat. I just... Oh, I just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He just dropped... He just dropped one in there. So, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, come on. Come on, join in. Join in. Come on, join us. We'll be... In, we're in the great room. So... I forgot what I was doing again. Output. Need iron. <laughs> oh, um, I meant to leave signs and then I forgot to. I stole your one Inferium that you had. I hope you don't mind. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> I figured you probably wouldn't care because Inferium is used for mystical agriculture. And yeah. I had a you probably weren't doing that. There it is. All right. Hello. What what's the best way to call you? Is it Jag Red? J J what what do you what could I go by? Because what could I what can we call you? What's the easiest way to refer to you instead of just calling you you? Because I feel you mean like me not learning Eliaster's name for a good three four weeks while he was watching my streams. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Want to join the server? Okay. Well, before I, I give you like, accept the invite to the server, uh. You gotta understand. Fireworks. Just call you fire. I can call you fire. That's that's wonderful. Uh, just look at this. If you look at the server information, there is one rule. That rule is, do not be a dick. That is the rule to this server. So, as long as you are willing to just hang out, have a good time, do whatever, absolutely you can join this server if you want. Um, so yeah, if you look at our Discord, the under the server information channel. Uh, you'll see official TFBA modded Minecraft server. Thank you for the pin. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and so in Twitch launcher, you can find the mod pack, all the mods three. Now, what I can do here is let me... Um, so just me uh, message me. Oh, it's impossible for me. What? Oh. Ah, don't confuse me like that. Okay, so um, just just uh, message me what your um, name is in Minecraft, and I'll get you added to the whitelist. That I do white because yeah, this is a whitelisted server for just to make sure you know people you don't get some random person who oh that. <laughs> Yeah, we just. <laughs> uh, all right, let me see here. Uh, do 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 do. Players. So, one of my like oldest online tags is Black One Two Nine Eight. Okay, and we're good. When I originally made my Twitch, it was actually Twitch slash Black One Two Nine Eight. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then. Um, Where does my? Like, I changed it to update it to like my not, what, 7th grade fucking username? Yeah, that's like your 7th grade edgy username. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And, uh, but because of my name, because it's just black and some fucking numbers, Twitch permanently recommends to me some streamer named Black3. No idea what he streams. Oh, jeez. He, she, they... Never bothered to look. They're never online. Oh. I've never seen them online. I don't even know if it's an active account. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Fire, if you want to join, you. Oh, wait, did you message me? And I just didn't realize it because my sounds are turned off? There we go. Hold on. Yep, sorry. Never mind. Forget what I was about to say. Act like I wasn't about to say anything. So, yeah, I'll just get you added to the whitelist here. Hey. Bam. Hey, hey, Johnny. What? Hey, look at your viewer count. I can't. I can't. Uh, it, uh... Check it out. Oh my god, I got four viewers. Oh my god. You, uh, you have seven on my screen. I, I see four right now. I I, I have Windows galore up here. I'm actually all the time. But yeah, so but no, what happened was uh, this guy joined joined here. Hold on, let me scroll up. See what, uh, Lunar Wolf TV. That's this guy joined in, started saying hi. And whatnot, and he totally uh, 
link to my Discord to his channel. To his Discord. To link, link to my channel to his Discord. So oh, nice. I was like, what a nice freaking guy. That's super cool. Yeah, so so yeah, I got so he, he threw a few people on here. I'm like, aw. That's so nice of him. Alright. But yeah, so to everyone watching, I now think I have the setup proper. So I have so here's the whole system. Now is here's my in I have my input chest here, my output chest here. Input drags my ore all the way over here to my purification chamber where it, where we shoot oxygen into the iron ores and whatever ore and it somehow makes some clumps out of it. The three clumps will go into here, which I need to auto sort. And this will crush those clumps into some dirty dust. And the dirty dust will go into here. And this is not set to auto eject. We'll go into here to cr to be enriched into clean dust. The clean dust will go into here, which this needs to be set to auto eject, and auto sort, and it'll smelt into here. And now that I have it configured properly, I forgot to set auto sort on everything. And now it's set up with factories, which means that. Do you know what problem with me? And... What's what's your one problem with mod packs? Actually, fire. I will. I, I should warn you here. Um, a, be sure you allocate extra RAM to your client when you start this up. The standard like one gig that it does is not enough. I would recommend a. I would seriously recommend doing at least six if you can. And also, this does take like the first startup of this mod pack. Not even just the first startup. The first start. So when I said. Oh, you never know what to do. Well, here's. You never know what to do. Well, here's the thing with, here's the thing with that though. You just go around until you find something and say, "Hey, what is this? This looks cool," and then you just start working on that. Okay, in your client, um, so I, it, if you have downloaded the mod pack in Twitch, do you know how to do, use the Twitch launcher to download mod packs? As the first question, because what that'll do is it'll. Because that'll open up your Minecraft launcher and it'll have a mod option there. So, um, what if I can? Do I have a Twitch launcher up here? Or I get another Minecraft launcher up? Um, yeah. So in your launcher, um, I shouldn't do that. Uh, I I I don't know. I have I know a lot of. I'm not saying you're dumb. Don't. I just want to make sure that we're on the same page here because I've. This is the first time I've used the Twitch launcher, and I felt like a freaking idiot trying to get through it, because I had never used it before. But, um, anyway, in your client, there's the, I think it's called launch options? It's, it's the far left, it's, it's like the fourth tab on the left. It's, it's like launch options or launch something. And you click that, you click your all the mods three option, and there should be an option there that says startup code. And that startup code is basically the Java run code. And it should say and it should start with something along the lines of like XMX 10, 1024 XMS and it continues on. The important part you want to look at is the XMX that you see at the right at the beginning. Um, so that 1024M stands for uh, 1024 megabytes or one gigabyte. So then just change that number there to however much maximum memory you want to allocate. Hit save, um, click one of the other tabs, and then start up the launcher. Now, and you will have to do, and sadly, it doesn't actually save it permanently. So every time you start the launcher, you have to do that. It's a bit annoying. But it only takes a second. Unlike the launcher, which when you start up the launcher, it's going to take a while. I mean... Second startup, I feel like takes a bit less time, but still a while. You could be looking at 20 minutes to start up your launcher the first time. Just going through all the mods, getting all the configurations, everything else, it does take a pretty hard chunk of time. So, so if you don't want to join now, you got other stuff you want to do besides just waiting, watching the launcher. I understand, but if you do want to join anytime, you know you're on whitelist, so feel free to join up. Just don't. Steal people's stuff and wreck their shit and stuff like that. 
and don't try to pretty and don't do not try to beautify my base either. All right, the jank is <laughs> the jank adds to the charm. Although the guys they did convince me, I was I had a pipe literally running at the same level as my floor that I was walking over, and they did convince me to bury it. So stream stream chat got me there. Um. All right. So quick question, Johnny, have you gotten this acacia tome to change into anything else once you've set it? Yes. What what you have to do is just look up into the look up into the sky and left click once. Okay, that's obnoxious. All right, thank you. And then it goes back to the acacia dome. It's not that bad. It's just fucking weird. I was like trying to shift click it or shift right click it because that's what makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, trying to figure out what I want to focus on because the thing that I really want to focus on I can't really start until we get to the end. Oh where god. I have the ability to strip mine the Nether. You wouldn't be you wouldn't happen to be looking for a draconium, would you? Nope. Okay. But draconium is on my list of end game. Well, focus. that's on my list of current game things just because they've oh, changed nice. the they changed the mechanism jetpack recipe. So I need like twelve draconium ingots in order to make it, oh, which I was bad about, but I can understand it because let's be honest, the mechanism jetpack is super cheap, and I'm a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard. You're an izzard, Eddie. You're an izzard. All right. Let's Five just... steps to becoming a wizard. Okay, so man, I just I I'm a little I don't know what to do. Like I did it. I've. Put, I've, I made, I thought the setup would take a lot longer to do, but I've gotten it up and running. The only thing now is uh, if my power banks are going to hold up for long, which they seem to be doing pretty good so far. But yeah, so we got, we got the base setup done. And... Oh, hey, sawmill. I guess I could organize my chest. Actually, what... What was that mod that the guy was asking if we had here? It sounded like it would have something to do with uh, refined storage. Refined storage. Oh, this is part of a computer. It's like a computer thing. Okay. Oh. Uh, now, of course, we're talking about liquid mana here. Now, of course, we want to get this liquid into our bodies to use it. Yep. To get mana inside of you, craft a syringe, yep. and craft that syringe with a bucket of liquid power. Yep. You now have a mana syringe that yep. you can inject straight into your bloodstream. Yep. PSA from Toby. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <gasps> yep. By the way, if you ever need more mana pools, there's a bunch of them over here in the desert. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about getting into this mod. It looks neat. Um, from what I've heard so far is there's not much direction of how to do things past getting started. Uh, so okay. that's what I've heard from Callie and them is that they're just a bit lost on what to do. Now, I understand, the other understanding is that it does have, it's a bit similar to Ars Magica and with the spell crafting and whatnot. Yeah, that's why I'm super into it. That's what I thought it looked like. But yeah, so I guess, but I guess there's not much direction of how to do things. And so they're a bit lost on it. I need to, okay. I need some organization. I need some. Uh, at so we don't have Java. No. Uh, what's another storage mod? Iron. I know there's some iron chests, gold chests, things like that. Is it and. I could do an auto system with logistical transporters. Um, or I could make this base a bit less shit. Um, get this stuff away from my ore processing. Maybe I could maybe run a cable. Maybe I ran it kind of along here. And got rid of this ladder to nowhere. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay, that looks better. That's better already. Um... Yeah, maybe I'm, I should move that over here. Let's do that. Let's 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 move some stuff around. Get rid of this torch. 
let's take that, let's take this, let's take this. Let's, um... Do I have more of these? Absolutely, I do. Oops, what did I do? F7. Alright, we're good. And then we're going to go, where's my where's my configurator? So we're going to get, kind of toss all this out of here. So we scout cable kind of run that way. And then... Would it be more, would it be better if I just ran the cables along this, on the wood paths here? Would that look nicer? That might that might look nicer. Let's do that. Stick that there. I'll have to retorch the place a bit, but I get some new lights in here anyway. That's what I should do. I should get some better lighting. That's what I should do. Okay. There we go. That's... You know what? I think that does look a little nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with that. We'll run with that looks nicer. I wonder if this would look nicer if I did this instead. Yeah, that looks a little nicer too. Yeah, there we go. We beautified some cables. We're on a roll here now. So let's just run some cabling this way. Um, I'm not worried about that door because I don't go in there that often. Put the sawmill here. Put the osmium compressor here. It'll throw a metallurgic, metallurgic infuser over here. So that should still have everything in it. Alright, so now this... Honestly, I should have my... Pers honestly, this sawmill should probably have its own little spot where it outputs to a chest. Because it, it creates so much crap. So much wood. Um, actually, I probably could just do this. If I configurate that to output and just slam a chest on top and set to auto eject. Yeah, there we go. That was easy. Okay, let's put let's, let's put the rest of my wood in there. Put the sawdust in there too. Wood sawdust, bam. All right. My flag. All right. Um. Okay. So that's good there. Osmium compressor. I'm not going to use too much yet because. Uh, I don't have... I only have one diamond! Yay! Me! <laughs> okay. Um, and my smoosher is running out, of, it's running out here. Um, can, I just, can I repair a smoosher with just some straight up... Hold on. Uh, crafting forge. No, forge. No. Tool Forge. That's what it is. Uh, I need some blocks and some bricks. Some blocks and bricks. Do I have any blocks and bricks? Uh, I only have. I only have, I'm a little short on the bricks. Um, throw a couple pieces of cobble in there. Just get that cooked up. And I wonder. Okay, you used to be able to make. Actually, you know what? Forget it. You used to be able to make, make tool forges out of different metals than just iron. But I have so much iron that I'll just use iron. Alright, stick that back in there. Got loads of iron. Is it still processing everything? Good, good, yeah, we're still processing! And is everything going good? We got plenty of oxygen. Yep, we got plenty of oxygen. We got hi Ooh, we're okay, we're eating through the hydrogen. That's okay. We got so that good, that's after good. After reading through the entire book, uh it looks like most of it is still work in progress. Oh, really? Yeah. Aw. 
Because, like, it looks like there's this whole dimensional thing to it. And, yep. like, it says on just about every page, work in progress, work in progress, work in progress, so. Oh, well, is, is, is it, though, that the uh, mod is work in progress or that the wiki is a work in progress? It was the book. In the... Oh, it's the book. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not good. Must be able to do something with it, though. Uh, um, I mean, I'm sure you can still mess around with the spells. Yeah. I need a tool station. Crafting table and a blank pattern. I need a blank pattern. Man. Okay, doot doot. Doot doot. Blank pattern. That's only three blocks. I need another block. Boop, do, ba do, do, do. Alright. And. Is it here? Nope. Eh. Tool station. Put that in the crotch of the tool forge. There we go. And we'll just, uh. Where do you want to stick this? I'll tell you where you can stick it. Anyway. Um, we'll stick it right in the floor here. Because this is mainly just going to be for repair of my smoosher. And I'm not sure. Can I just use a piece of obsidian? Oh, I can. Excellent. There we go. Got a little repair on smoosher. And throw that back in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. That. Ah, I could fuck it. You never know when a bucket might come in use. I think I just actually found the mod I'm going to fuck with. Oh, yeah? Because it's absolutely fleshed out, and I don't think anyone's touching it yet. Which one? Roots. I think Troy was said he was going to do something with it, and then he gave up. Like, right away. So, yeah. I think it's open. Uh, also, Joe is doing all of his stuff with um, Keep the flag. astral... Astral sorcery. Astral magic and stuff. Yeah, astral sorcery, and I'm kind of like piggybacking on him. Yeah. But oh. roots is all about growing shit under the moonlight and refining moonlight through herbs. So I think that's kind of a cool thing. Ooh. Since me and Joe are living out of the same place, you know. That sounds kind of cool. What was I gonna do? I had a plan. What was my plan? Was I just gonna dig? I may. I maybe I was just gonna go dig. Dig dig. Dig dug. Dig dug dug a dig. Alright, so let's put that in there here. Okay, so honestly I need to get my chest sorted out, that's what I really need to do, but I don't want to. Zerverd smoosher. So I could either No, let's grab a bucket of water. Eh. 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 There we go. Yep. Darn, that's not the bucket I wanted. Um, can I just... Oh, cool. There we go. Easy. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go down... Let's go down the hole. We're going to do some super deep digging. It's going to be so deep. The deepest dig that's ever been dug. Actually, maybe I should farm some obsidian. I do have that. I don't want to... I did kind of make some obsidian here. I do kind of want that lava in case I need some more for my smeltery. Um, no, no. We're going deep digging. Deep digging. Deep, 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 deep digging. We're going to see if we can, uh... We're just going to have a little, little cheeky I'm gonna, dig. I'm just going to get started with this. This <clears throat> sounds super cool. Okay. Well, not there. We're just going to... Okay. So where do we want to... We want to... Ooh. Where do we want to start our deep dig? We'll start our deep dig right here. You're a deep dig. Now, there's something weird about saying the terms deep dig. Deep dig. Yeah. So we are going all the way down to level 5. That's what we're doing. Uh, 
Okay. So there's bedrock, and there's bedrock. So this is where... Uh, okay, so looking at five, that's four. So I think it goes up, isn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah. So bedrock does go up one higher. So yeah, we're going to go up one block here. And we're just going to start smooshing. Smoosh! Smoosh. And... <laughs> and the point of this uh, is basically we're going to just do a quick little digging around, seeing if we can find, uh, get really lucky on some draconium ore. Which is Where are you? Uh, at the bottom of the world. Oh, nice. Hey, if you get any prosperity ore, um, I'll trade this stuff for it. Okay, I'll let you know. We got, uh, I don't know if it actually spawns in the overworld in this mod. You can probably look it up. Uh, I'll look I it up. I tried to. I don't see it in the overworld. Prosperity. Uh, prosperity ore. Because all I see it on is crafting and then void ore miners or a laser. Yep, so it is not overworld. It looks like it's nether only. Nether and end. Well... I mean, it barely exists in the nether. It exists in a less than 0 .01 and... I mean, I'm digging for some 0 .01 ore right now, so... Oh. That, that has it fairly common. Right. Nether has it more common, too, but it's a wider area. The thing is, the thing with, the, with um, draconium ore in the overworld is that it, it spawns basically at bedrock, if it's yeah. there. So I can... So I have a very limited range that I ha need to dig at. Which so, makes it nice. So I'm just doing a little experiment here. I'm just going to take a little time to do some digging. Um, okay, Dracon. so... Right, I was going to make two shields. Let me just double check what I'm doing here. See, it spawns highest at Y6. Or Y5 or Y6. can't tell which. Which is right where I'm digging. Now, and we're at the point oh one chance of spawn in an area. So, I figure if you dig far enough, that my inventory is going to fill up pretty quick here. Um. All right, we'll toss that out, and we gotta make a run to the dump chest. You're a dump chest. No, I'm not. Um, I have a dump chest, but I'm not a dump chest. Damn, Joe has some shit going on here. Joe has some insanity going on. Uh, it looks cool. Where did I? Where did I put my dump chest? I don't know why, but I've really been wanting to huh. do just something with farming, so... Farming, huh? Yeah, so that's why I'm like... I wanted to do mystical agric agriculture, but mystical... Eh, mystical agriculture... Um, I need the prosperity shards to actually really get started with it, so... Okay. I'm gonna do this in the meantime. Okay, so now where... I forgot where I put my dump chest. Is my dump chest over here? Ah, there, there are my dump chests. Alright, let's dump all the cobblestone in here. All this, all this other random crap. Basically all the stuff we don't really care about. There we go. Keep all the important stuff. And go Just back. Now we're going to go back down into the hole. Just digging my pathway a little bigger so I know where I'm actually going. There we are. <clears throat> Alright, so we didn't find many results that way, and there's lava there. So we're going to do a... We're going to do an about face about here. And go. 
Hey, hey, who wants some diamond? Nice. Congrats. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Big vein of diamonds, too. Too bad I don't have looting on anything. Oh, well. That was, uh, seven diamonds. Heck yes. Definitely need that. I can make, some, I can make more refined obsidian with that. Oh, what is this doing here? Oh my god, my fucking mouse. Come on, get out of the way, dirt. There we go, Jesus. No, let's wait, let's waste the power. Get out of here. And let's let's set that back down to normal. <laughs> Alright. Back to smooshing. Smooshy smooshy smoosh. Smooshy smooshy smoosh. Circles of mossy standing stones may be found. There are there are small small markings on the ground within the circle. Four smaller marks and a central symbol. So I need to find one of those, I think. Okay. I don't know if I can make one. Oh. Which means I don't know. Ooh, wild carrot. <clears throat> I am underneath a lava pool. This seems safe. Dilithium. Oh my god! I found some! You found... Draconium ore! Oh, nice! Holy shit! Um, um, um. Okay, uh, do I dig it? Do I, do I, do I get some with looting first before I dig it? Why? Okay, so, all right, so you're starting with Draconi, like the Dracon, Draconic expansion or whatever? No, 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 no. I want some Draconium ore so I can make my mechanism jetpack. Oh, I see. I How need, much do you need? 12 bars. It's not that much. I, I see. I need. Yeah. I gotta make a. I think you, yeah. I think you get multiple dust. I think it's two. It naturally. By standard. And it's one dust is a ingot. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I I honestly was not expecting to find some. So ne but now I'm just like oh god I have to. Jesus. These guys just have like a fucking compound over here. Uh. What? Ted and Ned. Uh, Troy and... Oh. Malcolm and Callie, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, they got quite a thing going on. Silver, iron... I'm trying to find one of those mossy standing stone things. Yeah, and I have, I have not seen any of those that I'm aware of. I've seen some... I found some of the astral sorcery stuff, but... Yeah. Oh, shit, I found a bunch of mana. I, okay, so this is how desperate I was for trying to find a mod that nobody else was touching and something that I could maybe enjoy. I almost started Thumbcraft. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone else kind of given up on Thumbcraft already. Which, actually, I'm not too surprised. <laughs> Thumbcraft is such a crazy complicated mod. <clears throat> well, honestly, the like, biggest reason... I'm not saying it's bad... <clears throat> I'm saying I fucking don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I understand. There, you gotta do a lot of stuff in that mod. Alright, so now I believe this will add looting to it. It, it. it does really, I think, get the flavor of what the mod is going for, though. Because um, mm -hmm. it, it's really trying to go for that I am magical because oh. I understand everything kind of idea. Yeah. And I think it does a really good job of trying to force that research and that, like... You really have to dedicate yourself to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I got some. Okay. I got some luck on here. And. Okay. All right. I'm going back down. And I know there's some other lapis piles that I have not picked up yet. So I'm going to pick up some more lapis. I got, I'm going to have to look through my freaking caves of insanity to find it, but. Um, actually, start down here. Was there more? Was there more lapis down here? 
Yes, there was lapis right next to it. All right, excellent, excellent. Thirty-three was lapis. That's a Splatoon song. I had no, I have no idea. I was just da 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 dying to whatever uh, tune came. The end of it kind of finished with that same kind of Splatoon flare at the end of the single player level. Dude, I should, I gotta play some more Splatoon. Da, da, it's just like, da, da, da. Uh, oh, I love Splatoon. Like. The, I mean, even the single player is good, though, and that's the thing. It's like, I... Oh, it's, it's true, though. It's true. It's a very fucking good game. Okay, have you and Levi played the Octo Expansion yet? Levi has. I haven't touched it. Do you know how far he's gotten? I don't. Oh. I think he's beaten it. So but there's... Close. There's several levels of beat, because if you, have, if you just get through... You can get through the min to any amount of levels, as long as you get to the end you will unlock the Octoling for multiplayer. And then you for each rail track that you complete, even with cheats, because you can skip levels in that one, mm -hmm. um, that's what I mean by cheats, you will unlock um, pieces of gear, additional pieces of gear, based um, for use in multiplayer. Ah. Which are really good, honestly. Especially since... Um, <gasps> The third set of stuff you get is, uh, like, the old man stuff. So it's basically you're wearing the outfit that Captain Cuttlefish wears. So... That's so good. So you get, like, the cat, the little cat, little sailor hat with the big square glasses, the green coat, and the old shoes with the, like, high socks. It's, you look so, it's so funny. But uh, there's a seat, and I won't tell you. I won't tell you if what what the final item is you get from all that. But I'm. But it's super cute, and Elmo loves it. I don't use it, but so yeah. There's three sets of armor, and then an, another item after getting all, after getting the final track completed. And then if you complete all of the levels without skipping, because you can go back and complete it after skipping, so there's not an issue there. But after you complete them all with, um, officially, you unlock the secret final boss. Oh. Who is super freaking hard. I mean, I, I, I mean, I literally, I spent hours upon hours over several days, like, rage quitting the game, trying to beat him. <laughs> okay. So... Oh, so it, it was, yeah. It was something. I didn't... Okay, so I need okay. to find a moonlight suit. Okay, okay. I don't have more lapis nearby. Oh, yeah, no problem, Ed. Welcome back. I mean, it's like, you've got stuff going on. you got stuff going on. Oh, I mean, that's kind of how my stream goes. I don't have a planned set time to stream. It's pretty much, uh, I stream until uh, my wife wakes up and says I want breakfast. So I'm like, okay, let's make some breakfast. <laughs> She really is. Oh, he, oh yeah, here's, here's a funny story about her yesterday. She took the day off, because she's like... This thing looks so cool. Sorry. <laughs> it's nighttime, so Joe's, like, attunement altar thing is all, like, lit up and pretty, and, like, what the fuck? This is so cool. Uh, God, I need to get into this fucking mod. <laughs> Jesus. But no, funny story about her is she took the day off yesterday, and, uh... Because she she's just like, I'm sick of work. I need a day off. It's like, yep, no problem. Yeah. That's cool. Mental health day. I get it. Yeah. But uh, I get a text at uh, 1130 at work saying, um, I just woke up. <laughs> she had to get up. She had to be up because the guy, the daycare to pick up Ruby. Ruby's our dog. Are you the woman? In the I'm not. I'm not a woman in the house, but I do... We we don't we do not what is going on here? Oh, this is out of this is out of fuel. Okay. Uh, look, we do not associate to gender roles here. We both do cleaning. We both do cooking. In fact, I'm the bigger cook in the house. She cleans more than I do, though. Uh. Although you did have a pretty fun long time running joke about making a sandwich. We did have that. Uh, she is a St. Saint, Saint Bernard English Mastiff mix. 
She's huge, she's fluffy, and she's adorable. She weighs 97 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, let me go to the letter and make me... See, I tried that. See, I tried that once, and uh, it didn't go too well when I said that to her. Uh... <laughs> no, we did... Cinnamon wood. Cinnamon wood? Okay, I'm looting one. I really want looting two before I try to grab that draconium ore. Ah! Okay, maybe I'll just keep... Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll dig in another line, looking for some more lapis. Okay, fine. Okay. No, I didn't say that. But I did say But I did say before, make me a sandwich. And she refused. She would not make me a sandwich. At least she would not make me a sandwich until I made her a sandwich. But I would not make her a sandwich until she made me a sandwich. And this went on for several years until... I think accidentally you... I accidentally made a sandwich. Because um, yeah. I was just like, I was just like, I'll make some food. That, uh, just, like, you know, just, have, just chat and whatnot. And then it literally was, I put the top piece of bread on. I looked at, I looked at what I did. And I'm like, I just made you a sandwich. No! <laughs> and I, so I lost the sandwich war. And what? What? Oh, sorry. Did I talk about you and now you need attention? Huh? I, I haven't. So, no, I. Th that was that was the idea. Yeah, that we didn't make sandwiches for each other until I lost the sandwich war. So now we can make sandwiches for each other. And I know, I know. The funny thing is, she actually has it saved on her calendar as the sandwich anniversary of when oh my God, she. That is an Elmo ass thing to do. It is. A Shih Tzu. Uh, I don't know. Nice, a small dog. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah, uh, cobble, 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 cobble. <laughs> now I'm waiting for you to dig into the lava. There it is. <laughs> okay, there's some lava there. Hooray for stream delay. Yeah. Ooh, diamonds. Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. Diamonds being most common. At level 12 is bullshit. It's absolutely freaking bullshit. I have I dug for so long trying to find diamonds. And when I finally found diamonds, I only found like four diamonds. I'm digging down in this little patch of area here at level freaking five, and I have found eleven diamonds. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Next I mean, time each each mod pack sometimes adjusts the but no, even if you look at the, even if you look at just enough items and uh, on world spawn, it says it basically says that it's most likely to spawn at level twelve. I mean, it it it's kind of flat in around there, so it's uh, like around that area. But level twelve is definitely the peak of uh of where it is. Yeah. Um, de -dum -dum -dum. This isn't dangerous. What are you talking about? This is perfectly safe. I know what I'm doing. Ow, ow, ow. I'm on fire. Wait, fire. You can go away now. Thank you. Jeez. Fire did not want to leave. Oh shit, hello random chest. With a single gold lingot in it. I did jinx it. Oh, yeah, that's what I do. It's how you, it's... Absolutely I jinxed it. I'm... That's just how good I am. Man, these uh... These moonlit circles are... Really rare, for some reason. Yeah? This is uh... Getting pretty obnoxious. Uh, I really want to mine up that draconium, but I'm like, I need to. I need max looting. I need more looting. I gotta get as much pos as possible because it's so rare. And you're gonna get down there. And you're gonna go to mine it, and then a creeper is just gonna show up. It's all gone. If creeper. I mean, if creeper shows up, I might. I. I would. I. I would probably literally cry. Like th there would definitely be tears on stream, if that happened. 
some nice draconium we've got there. It would be a shame if something would have happened to it. Might be able to join and work with someone. I mean, yeah, I mean, potentially. Potentially you could work with someone. I mean, it's people, I mean, usually people are pretty friendly if you want to hang out the area and whatnot. Um, Absolutely. Me personal, yeah. me personally, I'm, I'm, I kind of like to do things on my own. I like my base being my own thing. But I mean, if you just need a place to hang out for a bit, and you know, feel you can easily hang out at my place for a bit for to get some materials and everything else also going on. Stable, like food crops too. If you come over to our place, I can show you how to make cheap bread. I, anyone really, you just gotta ask around. I mean, the gen the our, our general MO is is Toby and I and Joe tend to do our own things. Then there's the the conglomerate of everyone else, of like uh, Troy, Melko, Ben. They all tend to group together into one big complex. And then before we know it, the four of them have beaten every mod in the fucking mod pack and we're all just right here for individual mods like hey guys hey guys learned this new trick yeah yeah honestly it's like i mean people are on it sporadic times of the day afternoons usually more than others so um <clears throat> but if you like uh... but yeah just like pop up a house nearby somewhere you know if someone be like and put a sign there put a sign to say say where you are and you know then if you see anyone else online, you know, just go say hi. All right, let's. Uh, let's I try just and fell in a hole. This sand temple. I fell in a hole, and I may have got myself lost. Nope, nope, we're good, we're good. Useless. As long as you're not, I mean, I'm, people usually won't mind you using some of their stuff as long as you're not taking what's theirs. You know, if you're not taking items and using it theirs, that's. But you're bringing your own stuff and, you know, using someone's smeltery and whatnot. No one's really going to mind. Um. Oh, crap. I should probably head back. Okay. Um. Those in there. Oh shit! I just found a void charm. A and void. A magic bean. Magic bean. Oh, you found yourself some magic beans. Okay, hold on. Where's lapis? All right. So where does it say it spawns the most at? Like Y fourteen. That's, it really spikes around the 14, 13, 14, 15 range, doesn't it? Oh, shit. All right. We're digging for lapis now. We're going for the lapis. We... I found an ender sack. What up? Really? What? what? This is a straight up ender pouch. My ninjas. Yeah, it's uh, from Cyclic. Portable ender chest. Oh. Well, oh, ain't that I something? I loot all of these chests. Okay, looking at 15, and 14. Okay. There we go. Strip mining. Staff of traveling. Oh yeah, those tend to show up. I got something. Yeah. Oh, morning. Welcome, welcome, fire. Can you hear me? Yep, can you hear ya? Yes. So, just want to massage your puffles. Hmm? How you guys doing? Good, good, how are you? Thanks for joining. No, it's fine. Seems like a community. I know. Oh yeah, we're good. I mean, we're all good people. Do, do, do. Digging a hole, digging a hole. Digging 
Sticky hole. I'm not a d I'm not really a dwarf. I'm an <laughs> right, my skin's kind of an Enderman. Uh <laughs> Right, no, I, I gotta do it. I got. I just gotta. I gotta break down and just dig it. I gotta. How do I get there? How do I? Here we go. One day I'll make these mines not confusing as hell. No, you won't. Yeah, probably not. Um. Okay. I'm just going to. I'm going to dig it, and just hope for the best. Come on. I need to uh I need to get back to the house cuz I am Oh my god. Oh. I got 13 draconium dust. Nice. I guess the luck paid off. I'm not sure. Yeah. Hopefully I'll we'll save the luck. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much drops me to those. We'll say it was the luck though. So, ha oh, I got to go smelt this. And I can get myself my jetpack. Maybe cuz I do it does require a really expensive Gas tank as well, but let's see, let's see what happens here. Great, before you need great to singing. What? Huh? Grace. Um. Ah, there's aquamarine here. Oh no! Uh, oh no! The power? Am I out of power? I've drained all my power. <laughs> A plus. I'm running. I'm. Ru I'm running on fumes. I, I gotta keep, uh... Okay. I gotta keep Joe happy, because I'm mooching off of his shit, so... Uh... I, br I just bring him aquamarines all the time, and he's usually pretty happy okay. about that. Or processing, going on shutdown. Gotta okay, shut down the ore processing until power comes back. You need more lava. another pump no i don't like doing that <laughs> plus honestly it's, cheap as fuck. it's so it's so dumb it's just like let's let's pile up a bunch of lava generators and just pump lava out of the nether look i just broke the game it's like it's, it's not there's nothing fun about it well there's just nothing fun about it it's like here have this near unlimited source of power making very low cost machinery you guys have to go. I'll be back later, maybe. Okay. Alright. See you. Later. Alright. Uh. Okay, yes, yes. I am excited. Jetpack. Jetpack. Gonna make myself a hydrogen jetpack. Oh, slime! I need slime. Crud. Crud muffins. I forgot about the slime. I've never said crud muffins in my life. I don't know where that came from. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? It's a crud muffin. Okay. Put obsidian there. Oh, I know what this is. And let's take a few stacks of sand. Okay. I don't think they actually harvested the trees. No, there's still slime trees up there. So I think we go up to the slime island. Ow. I was gonna say otherwise the slime island, like our slime island, doesn't have the trees harvested yet. Oh, that is yours. Huh. I don't know. I I don't consider this. I, I don't lay claim to slime islands. I lay claim to this desert. That's why I've laid claim to. I just say ours because it's like right next to mine and Joe's place. Yeah. And then there's another one that's right next to Troy, Ben, Kelly, and da -da -da's. Yeah. They're, kind of, they're, they're all over the place. And they've really increased the world height on these slime islands. I mean, because these are. They used to be. I swear they were ne not this high up previously. So. I need to get rid of some crap. Climb in the slime. Climb in the slime. I better not fall down dead. Gonna keep climbing on up in here until I land. I don't know. Irk. I didn't realize hang gliders were in this. Ah! 
Yes, there is green slime up here. Excellent. People didn't even harvest all the green slime. Gotta get all this. <clears throat> Herc! They didn't take the blue slime either? Oh, they just left all this slime up here. Oh, man. I only went up there to try and find some shit to kill so I could get Inferior Lessons. Oh. I wasn't actually going for the slime. Okay, so... That is... You know what? 32 slime balls? That's more than enough here. I'll put this blue slime back, back for anyone else who wants it. A little more green slime because I like the slappy. I like the slapping sounds of punching slime. All right, time to lay down the server killer and ride it on down. <laughs> hey, Toby, you like my elevator? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Why not just jump off the slime evader? Because this is more fun. I guess. Okay. This is fun riding riding a two block falling bit of water down to the <laughs> land below. I'm gonna come watch this. Oh, I guess that was on the stream. Derp. Yep. Yeah. You could watch it there. Right. Well, I was watching it on the stream, but like I was gonna go look at you from the outside. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Roop, doop, roop. All right. Okay. I got my slime. Four slime blocks. Look at the swapping wand. Yo. Okay, so now... Uh, that's an armored one. Oh. Crap. <laughs> uh, I need lapis. <laughs> Good job. And I burned up all my lapis. Oh. Good me, good job me. Uh, I have done it again. I have proven my genius. You memed yourself. Uh, oh boy. All right. Okay, let's let's go down here and uh, uh, let's let's go. I cannot fall into the void now. Well, it saves me from falling. Into saves the void. you from. I mean, how often does that happen though? Grow okay, so magic bean grow to harvest random junk and treasure. All right, let's uh, let's go this way. Where the hell is my house? Honestly, I've been more. I've had the most success in finding items. Down. Oh my god, that's a lot of lava. Let's just go the other way. Let's let's take let's give that a wide berth. Do, 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 do. Come on, Lapis. Come on, Lapis. Hey, I can. Let's see what this magic bean gives me. Barley seed bag, and I got another. Oh shit! Oh shit! What? I can just grow magic beans. I thought this was a consumable thing. It totally, like, spit out another magic bean when I harvested it. Oh. And then it stayed planted. Oh. So, like, I just, like, duplicated it. I'm about to fucking go on a mad bean harvest. Beans. I'm going I'm mad with Justin beans. Justin McElroy, because I'm living that bean life. Hashtag bean life. Hashtag bean life. Alright, uh, I gotta go to my dump chest. I'm gonna have to get, some, I'm gonna have to replant for some food here. I'm starting to run out of prickly pears. Oh god. I know, it's kind of a scary thought. Workbench. Okay, so I just chewed up a bunch of. This is fucking cool. I have rainbow porcelain. 
I have what? a barley seed bag, brown porcelain barrel extension, redwood leaves, reds. Left shift plus scroll. So cycle. All right. Oh, All right. So now we're gonna say. Oh we're... shit! Actually, I do remember. This is like a chisel block, but like you can scroll through it instead of needing to use a chisel. Oh. Black wool, birch fancy, workbench. I'm becoming a fucking bean farmer over here, okay? Bean so farmer. I'm a fucking bean farmer. I want to farm I'm beans. A... <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to be all about that agriculture in the middle of the fucking desert. That's going to be my whole shtick. Wait, are you in the desert too? Yeah. Oh, I know that. Joe. I guess he is in the desert, isn't he? Yeah. Alright, let's get me some fucking beans. Uh can't believe, I can't believe I didn't think to look at what the recipe was besides Draconia more. Like, I, yeah, I was wondering why that. I was so focused on Draconia more, and I have enough of that now. I totally didn't think of what else was needed, and turns out lapis. Oh god. Oh, that is. That's funny. That's just funny. That's what it is. It's funny. Uh. Got a bloodwood sword. Got a eucalyptus door. Pink porcelain barrel. I'm just burning through all of our bone right now, cause like. Ah, uh, so many bones. So many bones. So many bones. Okay. Use wood sticks. Alright, got Framed it. Framed painting frame. Going back down. Ooh, apple sapling. Garden trowel has a chance to drop bait by digging dirt. Interesting. What the heck? <laughs> Sacred wood slab. Sacred oak wood slab, rather. Framed painting frame. Jungle desk. Bunch oh. of magic beans. Did you... <gasps> it auto so these magic beans just kind of like give me a random item and some more magic beans. That's cool. Yeah. Kind of some neat shit. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on. Where's the lapis, bruh? Bruh. Oh, oh, I froze. I froze! Alright, we're back, we're back. Sorry, stream. I just froze up there. Alright, come on, we gotta find... Oh, I can't I can't believe I just didn't... Oh, how did I screw that up? How did I not find... How did I just use all my lapis? Why can I not find any lapis now? Come on! Lapis! 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 You see, you just, you just had to call out for it. You just, you, you gotta be nice to the lapis. You gotta call for, you gotta call out in, for its name. You know, begging the lapis to come back to, to you. Lapis, come back. I'm gonna make you into a jetpack. <laughs> that rhyme was bad. It this didn't really even was. rhyme. <laughs> Uh, quality, quality musical stream right here. Don't you know? All right, all right. Let's get this. Let's the uh, the dedaba. That's that's what I'm doing. The dedaba. All right, I gotta empty out my inventory again because I got a bunch of crap. Um. Okay. Need draconium. Um. I know I'm gonna need my diamond. I'm gonna need some gold. Okay. Jetpack. <clears throat> okay, so I need to make some gold boots. Okay, gold boots attained. 
I need to make a Draconic Core. Okay, Draconic Core 1. Draconic Core 2. Do those stack? They do. Excellent. And then put it all together. One. Put it all together and what do you get? A jet pack. A jet Okay, pack. so I got... <clears throat> Got that part of the jetpack. Now I need tin plates, so I need to I need to make a forge hammer. It's just some sticking iron. Stick and some iron. Johnny, you mind if I come over and steal one of those pairs of glasses? My glasses. Oh, damn it. No one will take the glasses from me. But I want it for my cosmetic armor because they look bitchin'. Too bad. <laughs> Alright, forge hammer. I just need a couple of tin plates, so I just gotta smash some tin. Uh, let me smash. Smash. Ten, ten, ten. Uh, actually, I only need three ten. Okay. <clears throat> yes, smash some ten. I need a couple of steel ro rods, which actually isn't too bad. It's only three steel for four of them. And I have my steel processing up, so. Let's get all the steel what I need. Uh, I need an advanced circuit, which is actually really easy. I should have all the stuff right here. I do. And I should have probably made this earlier. I need the ultimate gas tank. Oh. 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 Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. 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 I need to. Okay. I need to empty my inventory because I would need a lot of space for this crap. What was I about to do? All right. All right. Let's go kill some shit. All right. I wonder if I can use my watering can on this. So it's just slap a chest here, throw these in here. Then let's get the other stuff kind of thrown where it belongs. No, screw it. We're just dump all this in here. And so some redstone in there. Uh Oh, hey, Johnny, if you need to get rid of any uh, Inferium dust, let me know. I don't even know if I have any. Or Inferium Essence, rather. You get it from killing shit, so... Oh, I definitely don't have any of that. Oh, okay. I've killed very few things. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> so now, we need to make an ultimate gas tank. To make that, we need, to, we need an elite gas tank. To make that, we need an advanced gas tank. To make that, we need a basic gas tank. And to make that... We need osmium and redstone. Okay. So let's pull out all our os let's pull out some osmium. Uh, I got redstone around here somewhere. Okay. All right. So, so. Bam, 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 bam. Basic gas tank. Uh. Do I really need an ultimate gas tank? Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can cheat the system. <clears throat> Let's try to cheat the system. This isn't really cheating the system, because if this works, it's just it's just like slacker slacker heaven. Yeah. Nope, need the ultimate gas tank. Okay. I tried cheat. I tried using a basic one. Didn't work. All right. 
The recipe is not lying to me. Okay, so now... I, okay, you surround that with enriched alloy and osmium. Advanced gas tank. An advanced gas tank, I need reinforced alloy. Okay, that's actually not too bad. That's just diamond. And actually, I just received a ton of diamonds. And a single diamond will actually... I only need one, because I know how to do stuff. When I say that, I mean, do this. Bam. <laughs> we are enriching a diamond. Ugh. <sighs> Oh shit! Right, compressed He's diamond. Got a wing charm gives slow fall after six blocks. That's cool. Okay, so some compressed diamond in here, and uh, let me just confirm my recipe. Enriched alloy to di with diamond. Yep. So we got. Throw that in there. And now we wait. Actually, I should look ahead. <laughs> okay, so this one needs reinforced alloy to make the elite gas tank. Wait. Yeah, to make the elite gas tank, I need it there. To make the ultimate gas tank, I need atomic alloy, which means I need com <laughs> I need refined obsidian. <gasps> oh shit! All right. All right, we're gonna. I wish I. I need a, I need more metallurgic infusers. Luckily, I have one piece of obsidian left. I only have, okay, I can dig. I can dig up more obsidian though. That's not. That's a, why don't I go dig up some obsidian? That's a great idea. Good job, me. Pat myself on the back. Literally just did. All right, let's go. We are gonna dig up some more obsidian while we wait for that stuff to in, to uh, metallurgically infuse. All right. Uh, this is. Dig a little hole here, a little water here, set this to fast, and let's get that obsidian. And this is why you use an atomic disassembler. You can... Fuck, little shit! Alright, yeah. 13 obsidian. That ought to be good. Yeah! yeah. yeah. You should see how fast I was digging that obsidian. Uh, currently trying to not die. Uh, you're gonna miss it. Oh God! Stay alive. All right. The skeletons are angry at a lot of other things, so it's all good. Okay, so we got reinforced alloy. Now that's only the first part of this, because because we're gonna need find obsidian dust, which. Uh, requires diamond and a, some more diamond. So I need another diamond. Alright, so we're going to enrich this diamond. And we are going to crush up some obsidian. Oh, wait, no, we need... Oh, wait, no, we need this. Uh... Or crush that up, and I'm probably gonna have to catch it before it gets into the uh, smelter because I think it will smelt back into obsidian. Maybe it won't. I don't remember. All right, only six, eight. All right, we're good. <clears throat> All right, so then we go over here. We stick the compressed diamond in. We stick the pulverized obsidian in. And while we're doing that, we can upgrade our gas tank. Uh, and... Doot, 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 doot. The gas tank. <clears throat> Alright, so now we have to make an ultimate gas tank. Which requires the atomic alloy. Which... Yeah, we need the refined obsidian dust. Four. Which we don't need nearly this much, but... I'm making this much extra simply because uh, 
I have the resource for it. When, no, enrich, enriching the items before putting them in the metallurgic infuser gives you so much bonus material that use it. Don't just dump it. Use it. I mean, you're, you're, you're tur you turn a single item into eight items, basically, in terms of how this is used. So it's never a bad thing to make more, because you will need it. Especially since refined obsidian can be made into armor, which is basically indestructible. Like, you, you take no damage. Alright, refined obsidian dust. Now I'm going to take this refined obsidian dust, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to throw one in the enrichment chamber. <laughs> This is why I need another enrichment chamber. <laughs> Alright, there's my compressed obsidian. Throw compressed obsidian in here. There's a reinforced alley here. I'm gonna have extra obsidian, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else I can do with that. No, it's only good for making a time account. Well, I'm probably gonna end up wasting some of this obsidian, but that's okay. We still only used one, and we're going to get four atomic alloys out of it, so we'll be good there. Come on. Come on. You know what the enchantment unstable does? Uh, I believe unstable, uh, like, can cause explosions. Like, when you get take damage. Oh, wow. Or something along Turn those lines. Oh, and make it, like, explode with arrows? I, I, no, I, I, I don't know, but I think I remember... It, it's not necessarily a good thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everyone see this? Jetpack! All right, let's make an armored jet. Let's make an armored jetpack. Uh, steel, bronze, diamond. All right. Block steel. They have all kinds of goodies now. Huh? I have all kinds of goodies now. I got all kinds of goodies. I don't. So I've got that that wing charm that gives me slow fall after six seconds. I've got or after six blocks. I've got the void charm, which saves me from falling into the void. In addition, I've got um, a swapping wand. Sneak right click to select a block. Right click in empty air to select offhand mode. Right click on block to replace. Oh. Um, oh. It does take energy though. I have two ender swords. One is empowered three. And I I believe um, those ender swords actually prevent endermen two. from. I think I think the ender actually like prevents endermen from teleporting or something like that. I think you're right. I don't know what travel does, but it also has travel. Oh, hold shift and right click to teleport or activate a travel anchor or ender IO. Armored jetpack. Broskies. Also have my staff of traveling. I have no hydrogen. Got a prospector detects ores in a straight line. I want to see what that does. Okay, so Wom. found sandstone 27. Sandstone 28. Wom. Okay, so that's Aluminum, two slate, slowly, slate. very slowly this filling up with nuts. hydrogen. Um, maybe I should make another electrolytic separator. Because I'm going to need some hydrogen this for this jetpack now. Great. This could actually help me prospect the fucking nether for some prosperity shards. Yeah, maybe we'll put one, like, right here. All of my magical beans. Grow my magical beans. Okay, so let's make... Yeah, yeah, so let's... You know what? We just had so much fun. Oh, uh, do we want to go... Do we want to go crazy? Do we want to go crazy? How crazy do we want to go here? Let's go crazy. Alright. Let's go crazy. We're going... We're, we're, we're doing it. Enrichment. We're going to make another enrichment. I'm going to run to the restroom, and then I'm going to figure out what the hell I'm doing next. So... Three, four. All right. Oh, there's a durability to this prospector. That's good to know. Anyways, BRB. Yep. 
All right, we're going. We're we're we are gonna. We're going. In, we're falling into madness, everyone. That's what we're doing. So we're making the enrichment chamber. So let's make the steel casing. Oh, don't have any osmium on me. Don't have any iron on me either. So let's grab a bit of osmium. Let's grab a bit of iron. Um, what else? To, ah, circuits. Definitely need that. Why do I have that in there? Why do I have that in there? Oh. Huh. All right, well, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need to make more of that, so that'll be a reminder. All right. And then, bam. All right, we have a new enrichment chamber to go right here. Now, don't need the crusher that off. Often, actually, I'm going. I'm um, actually, I'm going to need a crusher for what I'm about to do. So actually, I take it back. We don't. We want a crusher or crusher queen, huh? All right. So we need some buckets of lava. And we're gonna need some more steel casings. I miss. Oh, I only grabbed four steel. That's right. There's more there, and now it. Buckets of lava. Buckets of lava. Now, do I have any buckets? I have one bucket here. All right, so I gotta make one more bucket. And let's just uh, boop. There we go. Bucket of lava. Bucket of lava. And crusher. Steel casing, crusher. There we go. So we got a crusher. Bam. And oh, I take my buckets back. Um, do we want to make another? Yeah, let's do it. Let's make another metallurgy confuser as well. Oops. That. Uh, got a couple furnaces. Or, all right, the metallurgy confuser, less waste. Waste not, want not. Uh, let's put it. torch there. Is that? Huh. Okay, and then, bam. Okay, so now. We got all this set up. So now we want to make an e electrolyt electrolytic separator. Now, the big thing is electrolytic core. So we need osmium dust, pulverized iron, and pulverized gold. Now, I'm only going to make one of these. Okay, I'm back. So, welcome back. So let's just get what we need. We need two osmium. Uh, we are going to need... Five iron, and then we are going to need uh, one gold, and there's something else. And just a bunch of enriched alloy. And this is why we made a separate crusher, so we can just smash these ingots down without interrupting any other processes. Because yeah, we're back up on we're back up to power. So let's uh, let's start pulling ore back out of there. We'll get the ore processing back up and running. Uh, let's crush a couple of ink, a couple of osmium bean guts. And the factory probably would be, the factory would be quicker than this, but we're not in that big of a rush, are we? I don't think so. So how far away are you from finishing that, like, and being able to go out and do something? I mean, I could, I mean, I could go out and do something any time, technically. Because, whoa, whoa, okay then. What? I just discovered something about the little rocks that Terriquius adds. Oh, you can break them and get stuff? It's some pretty good stuff. I just got a small pile of astral star metal dust. Oh. Yeah. And. Dang. Like, I just... Dust, refined corallium dust, 
pile of dimensional shard dust. Oh, wow, that's Yeah. That's some like, good those stuff. Those rocks are actually kind of worth it to break. Holy crap. Yeah, holy crap. Wow. Tiny okay. pile of crimson middle red gem. What? Tiny pile of crimson middle gem dust. Ah! Say who to what to where to how? <laughs> Incredibly rare hard to get item. Okay. Through uh b -b 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 okay. agriculture. Let's get some mechanical. So we got some pipage going on here. So we're going to pipe into the top here. And. Anyways, reason I ask is uh, someone to join me in the Nether to help me would be super cool. Okay. Well, if you want to go to the Nether, um, I definitely want. I definitely need a few things first. <laughs> I've only got iron armor, and actually, I need to go get some boots. I'll go grab those copper boots. Alright, I'm definitely not going to have enough pipes for this, so I'll have to make a few more. And burning through my steel. Alright. I mean, you're also making one of your end game items. So this is, I mean, sense. mechanism isn't really, a, it doesn't have much of an end game, really. I mean, uh, if, I mean, the ore processing is the end game of it, really. So it's just kind of a, I don't know, a thing. It's a thing. Um, okay, so we need to go back, go back to gas tank. So now, that's right, we're going to be making more gas tanks. So we need osmium. And that's mainly what we need. It's a lot of osmium. Alright, so we're gonna... Oop, is that not how you make it? I thought this was how you made it. Am I dumb? Am I dumb? Oh, it's just redstone. Are you? I yep. should probably make some more bread before we go down. I've got jams, but... Okay. That's right. Two tanks. So I found out what fairies are used for, and there's a, uh, a villager that I'm about to become a real good friend of. Okay, advanced gas tank. Oh, yeah? So apparently, somehow, you can capture fairies in a bottle and turn them into jam. What? You can eat the jam and get some pretty fucking legit magical properties off it. You're going to turn fairies into jam. I'm not going to, um, but I met a villager that knows how. <laughs> I, I'm, ooh. Okay, compressed diamond. I'm going to throw that in here. What am I trying to make? I'm a, I'm a little thrown off my game here. Enriched alloy. Trying to make an armored jetpack. No, I already made the armored jetpack. I'm trying to make a better, sis, uh, sis, a um, dedicated system to fill up the jetpack. And I figure, I just, and since I just kind of discovered that I have the capabilities of making the strongest gas tank out there, why not make two of the biggest ones instead of just putting some basic ones down? Are you serious? This prospector's dirt cheap to make. Holy fuck. Alright, let's go take this and out it there. it can be enchanted with mending and unbreaking. Because I found out I have an extra reinforced ally here. And auto smelt. And find it in dungeon chests. Actually, you know, I don't even remember if this is about it. Alright, elite gas tank. Oh, you can fill it with liquid XP to repair it. Oh, if it has mending. Oh, okay, okay, that's how mending works. That makes sense. Um, do I want to compress another diamond? Let's compress another diamond. So, if you want to make one of these prospectors, Johnny, it's literally a blaze rod. I don't even know what the prospector is. Like, what is it? Okay, so, uh, you click on a block, it searches in a straight line, and returns all of the blocks in that line. Oh. Um, obviously, it goes sideways out to whatever is chunk loaded. Um, it goes sideways if you hit the side of a block, and then it goes down if you hit the top. Alright, let's get this uh, uh, started here. 
Uh, we're gonna enrich another piece of obsidian. Oh, hi. Uh, right, I was gonna go get some new shoes. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> totally forgot I was gonna go make myself some fucking sick kicks. Actually, I'm just gonna go grab some bronze boots that I found. Okay, toss that in there. Toss that in there. And I'm running out of power again. You need better power generation, bruh. I really do. It's just that the advanced power... I don't know... I haven't looked up how to do the advanced power generation in this mod yet, because they changed a whole bunch. Oh, fuck yeah. I just got diamond dust out of a fucking rock. Okay. <clears throat> oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Rotate. Rotate. Ah. Uh, ball sacks. Um, eh. Eh. Okay. Ball oh. sacks is a little old place where we right. can get together. All right. Okay. Ball sacks, baby. Ball sacks, baby. Ball sacks. Baby. Okay, Ball so. Sacks. Okay, so I got my armored jetpack on, and I have. Let's see, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You need like eleven. Mother eleven humpfucker. I thought I had a fucking pair of bronze boots. Guess not. Um, I'm just gonna... You know what I haven't done? I haven't made myself a freaking second energized smelter. Gliders are so good. I've missed you. Um, we're just going to stick you above here. Oh, no, it's right. You got to put this in an osmium compressor. I forgot about that. All right, so that's a lot of some obsidian in it. That's fine. And I need some more... Obsidian dust. So you need five. You need seven for pants. You need five for a helmet. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Yep, so I just need two more. I gotta put it in here with some diamond. Get two more of that. Then I put it in here in the osmium compressor where it's gonna. There we go. <laughs> we'll just waste some redstone and get that going. Yeah, because fun fact, you can power mechanism machinery by, with pure redstone dust. That's pretty cool. Actually, I got charged up my atomic disassembler as well. We... You don't mind if I hang glad around your house, do you? No, that's fine. It's not. It's totally not annoying. Nope. We. we... Hang. <laughs> glider. Must be still the same as that. Yeah, you need uh, six, twelve leather. Yeah. Um. I have a drying basin, so if you want to make leather, you can make it out of rotten flesh. Oh, it's with the drying rack or? Drying basin. It dries way faster than the drying rack if the drying rack is in this as well. Where the hell do I have terracotta? I got I need clay. Okay. I'm saying we have one. You just need to walk over to our place. 
Like, we've even got made leather if you want it, and then just toss me some rotten flesh. Okay, um... It takes like five seconds per, it's not that long. Let's see, 12... Hey, where'd you go? I'm over here. Here's nine rotten flesh, can you make me some leather? Sure. Thank you. Let's throw it all in there. Man, I wish I had my fucking... <clears throat> I need a ton of prosperity shards, though, and essence. All right, that's Lots enough. That's enough charge in that, so then I keep eating up all my power. Let's repair smoosher. And then let's empty. If we're going to the Nether, I gotta empty out my inventory. Um. Motherfucker. Keep, keep the flag, and uh, as everyone knows, when you go into the nether, always bring some extra flint and steel. Why? In case your por in case something hits your portal and knocks it out. Oh, I mean our portal is covered, so. You never know. I suppose. And I didn't know that at the time, so. Aramagird. You want some leather? I'm wasting so much redstone. <laughs> I... Oh, man. I'm sure if I had more viewers right now, they'd be raging at me so hard. For Like, seriously, it's like, this This is rage, but I'm just wasting redstone to power this machine, to get this done fast. Bleh. To get m my machinery created faster. Not even my machinery. Just get just to smelt some shit. I'm just smelting some shit and wasting thunder on stone and. Okay. Pants. What is that you're using for food? Prickly pears. Ah. Okay. Actually, need to, actually, thanks for reminding me. I need to plant more again. I've kind of kind of run low. Oh shit! I forgot to grab my bread. God damn it! I'm bad at this. Did you know that you can make bread in a one-to-one -one wheat to bread ratio? Yep, I'm making dough. And it's literally just take two wheat, put it together, makes okay. dough, put in right. furnace, makes baguette. Yep. Home, 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 baguette. So uh, I have a second armor bar now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> well, I know who I'm going to be letting take the punches. Considering I'm still in fucking armor or uh, iron armor. Anywho, do you know where? Uh... Yeah, you do. I have no idea what you're talking about. The Nether portal. You know I. Uh, I think I have an idea. Come to me on the map. Oh, this way. Hi. Hello. I was about to say, oh shit, I only have my hat. And then I remembered I got all of the enders in my mm -hmm. pouch. So. In your pooch? In my oh. pooch. Actually, one second. I gotta close out that. Okay. Okay. Oh shit, everything here is probably immune to fire, isn't it? Maybe. W. Debbie. What? <laughs> oh, was that a flamethrower? Yes! <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm just kind of randomly looking around for prosperity shards right now. Uh, okay. Oh god, ghost! Uh... Oh god, multiple ghosts. Oh, they're immune to my fire. Zoinks! Why do they cluck like chickens? Because I think their audio is bugged. Or maybe they just pick random animals to make noises of. Because I've heard them also make sounds of, like, a zombie. Why can't I hit this one? 
I can't hit it either. What the fuck? I'm running. Fuck this thing. Ow. Oh shit, that's emerald. Uh. Do you fucking mind, ghost? Oh, I hit it! Hold it! Got it! Fuck you! Yeah! Oh god, another one! Where? Eda, okay. Grab my fucking pickups up. Yeah, you can, you can, I'll let you grab it. Uh, that lapis? No, it's cobalt. I can't harvest cobalt yet, and it makes me sad. I think, I think my... Yeah, yeah, my hammer can. Oh, nice. Can you grab me some cobalt and ardite while we're down here? So I can make a manilian pick that doesn't suck balls? Are you, I mean, honestly, mine's just made out of obsidian, and I can mine this, so... So all you gotta do is make an obsidian. Okay. I'll mine, a, oh. I'll mine a couple if we come across it. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Just want some prosperity Where'd you, where'd you go? So I got, I found a couple of cobalt. There's some emerald here. I don't know what levels I'm supposed to be looking in between for this. Prosperity. Let's find out. All right, let's see. Yeah. Nether prosperity ore. It's okay. It's found on level like seventeen. All right, so like okay, so about thirteen through twenty, and then there's another spike. And is like the most common, so like level seventeen is what you're looking for. Okay. At like a zero percent chance, but the highest is at level so, seventeen. Okay, so level seventeen. All right. Then I guess down we go. I'm gonna go closer to the portal though. Okay. Okay, so this seems like a good spot, eh? Oh shit. Oh, damn. Ah, uh, soul, soul sand's the worst. Oh, are you digging as well? Yep. Okay, I'm just going to come to your hole then, because it sounds like you can dig quicker. Ow. Where the fuck is your hole? Oh, here it is. The problem is there's all this magma blocks here. Yeah. Hopefully we can get away from them soon. Yep, okay. Cool. I will cover our backs with my shitty iron axe. Uh, what level did I say? 17. So right here. So we're looking at level 17. So we're, we're eye level at 17 oh, now. We're eye level at... Yeah, 17. Oop, yep, 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 yep. Look out, look out, look out! <laughs> Back up. Here, let me, let me do some scanning real quick and see if I can get us a little bit more targeted directions. Okay, I just wanted to, uh... Nether rack, nether rack, nether rack. Coal, nether rack. Energize nether rack. Coal... Nether diamond that way. Well, which way? I guess it, so. It only scans thirty-two blocks in front of. Da 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 da. Cool. Oh, six diamonds. Um, what the? Here's, oh, it's just here's your half. Okay. Um. Here, I'll just do this then. Ooh, gold. 
Redstone, redstone. Sphalerite, whatever the fuck that is. Sphalerite? Yeah. Right here, there's some sphalerite. The hell's sphalerite? I don't know. I want to find out. This way? Yeah. Oh. I should probably just knock out the one block, huh? Yep. There's Spell, right? From Tech Reborn. Yeah. Hold on. Gold. Yeah. Ooh, block of quartz. So, what the hell is this used for? Hey, do you still need lapis? Uh, not, not so much now. Okay. I'll definitely take it, but I was desperate for it. Infernal Hive. Oh. Yeah, it's a bees thing. Ooh, another lapis. I took some of the lapis here. You can have it. That's fine. Actually, here, you can have this cobalt too. I don't want it. Cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some more scans in. Um, here, I'll just scan this real quick. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. This sphalerite doesn't seem to have much use, except for if you put in an industrial electrolyzer, you can get zinc and sulfur. Hmm. Otherwise, you can make blocks of sphalerite. Or small piles of sphalerite. Do they look good at all? Kind of green. Hmm. You, can make, it's a, you can use it as a building block. You can make stairs out of it. So yeah, I think it's just a building block kind of shit. Where'd you go? Interesting. I'm back in the main shaft, I'm okay. scanning for some shit. Alright, well, I guess let's just keep going this way and see what we find. Ah! Whoa! Oh, it's energized! Oh, it's, <laughs> it's got energized glowstone in it. That's great. Oh. Uh, did you bring a bucket? No, but I've Ooh, I have jump boost, speed, and glowing. Uh, oh. uh. That must be what energized glowstone gives you. Uh. Yeah. Um, Too bad. Let's do this. There. Yeah. I, and my inventory is fast running out. Did you bring a chest? I have an ender sack that I can dump some stuff. The hell was that sound? My ender chest. What the ender. hell? Oh, Johnny! Draconium! Ooh. I don't really need this. I really don't need it so much now, because I got it's all I wanted, but hey. I, fucking I, take I, it. I still want it for the endgame draconium stuff. I like draconium. Or I like uh, that mod, I should say. It's just blocks of quartz? Yeah, it's something that spawns around uh, nether hives. Shit, yeah, man. Yeah. That's why I was like, ooh, block of quartz earlier. I, 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 I just assumed you were talking about... Four, but <laughs> no. God, do you have a bucket of lava or something? Hold on. Lava. I don't. I mean, we are in the Nether. I, I I just have so much Nether rack in my inventory. Yeah, I get you. Well, here you can just dump it in this corner. It's not like we're gonna walk into this corner. Yeah, it's like I was like having it instantly dead. Yeah, I guess. All right, here, hold on. Let's uh, let me do this. Hey, howdy. Hi, Joe. Hi. Okay, there we go. Me and Johnny are excavating the nether. Oh, wow. Six, yeah. seven, eight, nine. I'm trying to desperately find prosperity ore. Ten stacks of netherrack. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So I'm, I'm not going to be here for long. I, I actually okay. it's a bit of a mistake for me to be signing in in the first place. But I've got some slides I have to make. So. Uh, okay. Uh, um... Actually, before... Actually, let me just do this now. Uh, I've been streaming for a while, so I think I'm going to end the stream here. Like, I'll keep playing Minecraft with you guys, but... Okay. I'm just going to end the stream here, because it's been a good long stream. So, yeah, I agree. So, let me, let me do a proper sign-off here. Here, Toby, come over here. Come stand behind me. We're doing a little, doing a little selfie shot here. 
So, uh, so thank you everybody for watching my my Minecraft stream. Uh, thanks, thank you for. Ah, uh, I don't know his name right now. Thank you for the person who, who linked my stream to his Discord and got some people in here. It was great to have people to talk to. I um, hope to see you guys next Saturday. Uh, goodbye.